What's going on guys? Welcome to Brews and Board Games. My name's Andrew and today we have a special guest, my lovely wife Lauren. Hi. Today we are going to be doing a playthrough of Zombicide 2nd Edition, but before we get into that, let's talk about the brews we're going to be drinking for this playthrough. I am going to be drinking Laguanitas. This is Hazy Memory. This has unfiltered ale. I thought it was a perfect like thematic thing for this. It's kind of like you woke up in a zombie apocalypse. What the heck is going on? Uh, so I thought it would just be a nice little touch. Never had it before. So far, it seems okay. Um, Lauren, what about you? So um, what I'm drinking, it's not technically a brew. It's um, Cutwater Spirits Lime Tequila Margarita. Um, tequila is a perfect... Uh, liqueur to keep that pep in your set for uh, fighting zombies all through the night or just playing a board game about it. So this is my go-to. It's delicious, amazing, high alcohol content, a nice handy little can. Highly recommend. Well said, well said. Well, like I said, we're going to be playing Zombicide Second Edition. I recently just got this one in from Kickstarter. We have never played a Zombicide before. This is a first for us. But we, we decided to skip over the tutorial mission. It looked a little bit too easy. So we're going to be playing mission number one. So mission number one is city blocks. I'm just going to read a quick little uh, text. And then we're going to go over the objectives that we're going to have to get. So this says, our shelter is safe for now. Unfortunately, our food supplies won't last long. We also need some clothes, equipment, and supplies. We've decided to arm ourselves and go explore the surrounding houses. We cannot come back empty handed. So we have some objectives. Lauren, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell the good people what our objectives are? Okay, so um, this mission is twofold. Um, number one, the one part is each character must obtain one objective, objective tile each. Um, and then the second part is among the six of our characters, we must acquire three um, articles of food, and that can be done in any combination. Um, and then once we have achieved those two parts of the mission, all of our characters much, must reach um, the exit tile and go through it. Um, and you can only go through the exit tile if there are no zombies in the exit tile. Awesome. Well, there you go. That's the objective. We got the bruise. We got the game all set up. What we got to do now is just switch the angle so you can actually see what's going on and then we'll get started. So let's do that now and we'll see you guys uh, in a sec. Real quick, just to go over the characters we're playing as, we're each going to be playing as three characters. The first one that I have is Ned. This guy looks cool. He's kind of like a hunter. He's got that sniper rifle going on. I uh, just like the look of him. And then I have Seth who kind of looks like Liam Neeson. Uh, it's definitely got to be Liam Neeson, right? So I just thought he looked awesome. So. Uh, definitely got to be a part of the crew. And then last but not least, we have Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Uh, he's got some pretty cool actions. Uh, could be useful for this uh, mission. So definitely got to be a part of the crew. Uh, Lauren, what about you? All right. So first up, I have Amy. Um, most of you who were born in the 80s knew someone like this in high school. Um, uh, goth. She looks like she just ripped off a Hot Topic. Um, and now she's coming for zombies. Um, next, we have Her Royal Majesty. Queen Elizabeth, freshly single, um, but she has no desire to date. She wants to just destroy zombies, and she's ready to go. And then finally, we have Lizzie, um, your typical hilarious, um, curvy comedian, um, like Rebel Wilson before the weight loss. Um, love her in any way, shape, or form. Okay, and with that introduction to our characters, we have moved on to the overhead shot that you can see here. We're going to keep our characters and character trays off screen. The board is just a little bit too big, um, but you might be able to see some of the stuff up here for some of the characters, like their backpack uh, for some of the equipment. On the board itself, you can see these yellow tokens. These are pimp weapon crates where you can get powerful weapons throughout the game. And then you can see these red tokens here, which are the objective tokens. Each uh, player is going to have to or each character is going to have to get one of these before we can exit. You can see the zombie spawn tokens. There's three of them right now. And then you can see the exit in the uh, top of the board that Lauren was talking about. So for this mission, we start right here in the center uh, with two doors closed. And now, um, Lauren, take it away for our starting equipment. Okay, so yep. So you'll have this starting equipment. Um, it needs to be evenly... Well, it needs to be distributed amongst your characters. So um, we have 
six items here. We happen to have six characters, so we can evenly distribute them, but um, it might not always work out that way, and you are allowed to allocate them however you wish. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Thank you. This is for Ned, Seth, and a pistol for Rob. So Ned got a pistol, Seth got a pistol, and Rob got a pistol. Um, on my side, Amy got a pistol. Her Royal Majesty got a crowbar, and Lizzie got a baseball bat. Nice. And the game actually says whoever gets the fire axe, uh, that player goes first. So actually, uh, Liam Neeson, uh, my boy Liam Neeson, he got the fire axe. So uh, I take the first player token, and it is my turn. Okay, so it's on me with the first player token. So I think I am going to first use Seth, and I think I am going to open up this door here and that is going to create a noise token and then i think and that was my first action for my second action i think i am going to search this room um so i'm going to search the room that we're in now oh and there we go a bag of rice the first awesome. out of the three pieces of food that we need for the mission okay there we go and just a side note andrew i'm curious yeah. your opinion on this bag of rice that um doesn't seem to be the best fitting food source in the scenario. I mean, can you really stay in one place long enough for water to boil for you to cook the rice? Or is it the fact that everyone has a random bag of rice stuck in their cabinet that's gonna be laying around whenever the zombie apocalypse comes? I mean, nobody else wants it. I mean, maybe, I, I guess they're just going into the city trying to find whatever and then maybe get out so then they can cook it or they're just kind of eating it without being cooked just, just on the run just, choice. yeah just nibbling on it you know okay um but yeah yeah that's food for thought get it Hilarious. okay all right so that was my second action and i think actually um yeah seth is going to also take this pimp weapon crate so lauren if you can give me that one of those red car and a rpg7 for old Liam Neeson. All right, this this is a heavy hitter right here. So it looks Seth. like three, what's that? RPG seven? Yep, it looks like it deals three damage. Okay, so this can be used on fatties and abominations. That's good, okay. My boy Liam Neeson, I don't know who you are. All right, so now. Apparently he doesn't know who he is because he's Seth sometimes and Liam Neeson others. Yeah, he's, he's whoever, <laughs> he is whoever. And now he's somebody with an RPG-7, so that's good. Except in his movies, he's usually the same person. Yes. Anyway. Yes, yes he is. <laughs> that is that is correct. All right, so now let's do Rob. So Rob is going to take, he has what's called break-in, and he can open up a door for free, while, and that doesn't use an action. So I'm going to open up that other door just in case everybody else wants to get out. Maybe they don't uh, want to use one of their actions to open up a door. And then Rob... Sean Connery. It's gonna go here, and then I think, hmm, I do wanna start kind of working down here at least. So I think, oh, you know what? I'm, I am gonna take that back. I am gonna search this room, if I can have a blue card. Okay, there we go, shotgun for old Sean Connery. All right, put that there. So he searched. Now I'm going to use another action to move. So that, that those were two actions. And I think I am going to just stay here. Yeah, I'm just going to stay here. Now it's on to Ned, my boy Ned. So Ned has a free search action. Uh, Lauren, I'm going to search this room if I can have that. Sniper rifle. Okay, Ooh, awesome. Awesome. This will really oh, come in two handy. Two damage as fatties. well. Yeah. For fatties, you got it. Uh, that was Ned. And I think I'm going to keep this objective token. Do you want to maybe take the objective token? Yes. Okay. Um, Lizzie was hoping Lizzie, to. Lizzie wants it. That. Okay. Lizzie wants it. Okay. So let's. Rebel that was Wilson. Ned's free. Um, Ned's going to move here one. And then what should I do with Ned? Should I actually. You know what? I'm going to move Ned here and I'm going to hang there. And my thought process is 
if zombies spawn here, my sniper rifle can potentially already start hitting them, mm. right? So if they, if anything spawns there. So I'm going to post up right here. So that is uh, my turn. It is on to you, Varn. Alrighty. So I'm going to start with Lizzie. Okay. She's going to search. Okay. Nice. Molotov. Wow. Show the camera. Show the good Molotov people. Molotov. There cocktail. we go. Nice. And that clears, that eliminates the whole zone. So that can be also be used for abominations, fatties. So that's that's huge. You discard Amazing. it, right? Yes. You throw it, dis, uh, eliminating the whole zone. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool, cool. So I would use that sparingly. At well, it says discard from hand. So does that mean it's a one-time use? It which a one -time thematically use. would make sense. Right. It's a one. Yeah, you can't go scrape up the glass. <laughs> right, 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 right. Talking about bag of rice, <laughs> boiling bag of rice can't make a bottle in the middle of the zombie apocalypse either. Moving on. Okay, <laughs> so um, the next thing Lizzie's going to do is um, snag this objective nice. tile token. Objective tile token. Okay, and then uh, when you take that, yes. uh, your your AP goes up. So the AP Five, is the adrenaline points. Yeah, <laughs> it goes up here. And this basically determines what kind of powers, not powers, but um, abilities you can do. And then as well as whoever has the highest AP, if you draw a zombie card, it might say, um, like if you're, if anybody is in the yellow, it might spawn more zombies and then the orange, yeah. even more. So the, the zombie spawn is based on the, whoever has the highest, highest AP. AP, right. You got it. You got it. All right. So that Lizzie goes up fives, which you yep, did. Which I did. Awesome. Okay. All right. So, um, she has one more action, right? Yes. Okay. So I think she will just. Do you want her to join you guys or do you want her to it's I feel like right now she has achieved, you know, the the objective tile part of the mission. Right, so right. now her use is basically, you know. Yeah, and Lizzie defects, has right? Lizzie has a cool ability where she yeah. doesn't take damage from fatties, which is yeah. pretty So pretty I think big. she'll join uh who's Sean, that Seth? Sean, no, Sean that's Rob. Parker. Okay, yeah. she's gonna join Rob. Alrighty, so Her Royal Majesty is able to open mm. doors, so I'm going to send her to open a door. Her Royal Majesty. Um, what do you recommend, Andrew? Um, I'm thinking down there. Oh, like over here. Well, let's let's think this through, because yeah, we probably since the exit's over there, we probably don't want to open that yet because it's just going to spawn zombies right. and they'll accumulate yeah as you enter a, as you enter exit. buildings in these dark zones uh zombies will spawn potentially so i'm thinking maybe so they'll be spawning here yep i'm thinking maybe do you think she should just stay neutral in the middle that's fine. Go there that's fine okay yeah, go for it um and I'm sorry, I forget the whole move. It's like one movement is one action, except yep. for Amy, who has a free. Amy has a free okay. move action. One, two, three. Okay. All right, so that's hers. Okay. Um. All right, so now Amy. Yep. So Amy's going to search. Okay. A crowbar. She got a crowbar. That's decent. I so mean, yeah, that's good. Now yeah, she's, you know, doors. an even more independent, strong woman. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's see. Where should we? So she'll have an extra move action, a free right. move action. Right. Yep. So maybe she can go over here. That's fine. Okay. So here's her free move. Okay. Okay. So, and you have so she has actions. two more actions. Yep. Zombies are going to spawn. Zombies there, are right? going to spawn here. Yep. And I mean, they have the potential to do an extra activation. So. They could come here, like especially if they're runners. That's like worst case scenario, though. I think so. All right, I think that's still safe for her because um... she could open up the door if you want. Oh, I didn't realize there was a door right yeah. there. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, um, yes, I want her to. Okay. I want her to open. And that she door. does that. No dice roll. Uh, it has a door open action, and that is a silent. The mm -hmm. crowbar is silent, so that opens. 
But now that we have opened up this building, we reveal zombies and all yeah. the dark spots. So, uh, Lauren, the game mm. does recommend starting from the furthest and working your way down. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do that? Yes. Okay. So here's the first room here. All right, fatties. Oh my goodness. All right, nice. so we're all in the blue. So uh, three fatties are gonna spawn here. Okay. Well, luckily we have Lizzie right there with us too. Huh? All right, the next one for this room here, Lauren. Walker Holy Rush. Shit. So six, six, six walkers. Oh All my right, this goodness. is really. Oh my Who goodness. shuffled these cards? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it was I think it was Emily, our daughter. Uh, and then here is this room here. Six walkers. You've got to oh be kidding me. Goodness. Good lord. We might just be running straight up from this whole building. We we found the worst the building hell? in the city. Oh, you know what? These needed to activate as well. Uh, these because that was a that was a walker rush so spawn then activate so one two three one two three same amount so let's just take them uh, and they will split up so three here three here okay so so this room might be out okay all right now last one extra activation but we got we're still in the blue so no one so no one extra act. Oh, well, that was cool. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well. But I, ha Lizzie <laughs> okay. has the uh, Molotov She cocktail, does have so the Molotov. And you know what? Even if you Lord. use that, um, which is a good weapon against abominations, uh, old, uh, Liam Neeson has the RPG-7, which also could kill the abomination. So that's good. This might be a perfect yeah. room for that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Wow. So when it says eliminate all actors in the targeted zone, so that would mean like us as well. Yeah. So none of us want to go in there and right. Lizzie's just going to stay back and Lizzie's hurl gonna stay that. Back. Okay. okay. All right. So now we need to change the game plan. Okay. We're not all going right. in that building anymore. Okay. Right? Yeah. Maybe just wait for them to come to us and then Molotov. Yeah. Right? Something like that. Okay. Um, yikes, jeez, that was kind of brutal. Hold on, so I do I still have one action left? <laughs> Ooh, so who are we're on, Amy, just, right? Yeah, so she had the free move here. Way to go, Amy. <laughs> um, so she did a search, yeah, she did her free move, and then she opened up the door yeah, to get one so more. She has one more action, yep. I mean, should I just move? What do you you think? could hang there, it's up to you. You could move. I think I'm going to move here, okay. All right, right in the intersection with old Ned. Okay, now, uh, and her Royal Majesty already went, correct? Correct. Okay, so now we move on to the zombie phase. So the zombies are going to attack. There's nobody for the zombies to attack, and now they're going to activate. So all of these zombies are going to move into here. All of these zombies are also going to move here. Look at that. Jesus. You might just be able to Molotov that thing. And then, so one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I think those are gonna split up. So, you know what? So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so they're gonna split up here. So the game says if there's an equal path uh, distance, actually, no, it'd be here. Yeah, so they'd all go here, right? Yeah, they'd all go here. This is the shortest path. So it'd be one, two, three. Okay, um, so that was the activation. Now we spawn more zombies. So this is gonna be for location number one, walker rush, spawn and activate four walkers. Oh my goodness, look at this guy here. <laughs> one man band. One man band. All right, then activate. So they're gonna move up. All right, this location up here. Runners, zero runners, because we're all in blue. Oh. Okay. And the last spot here, uh, an abomination. Okay. And what's the deal with the abomination again? Uh, the abomination is like the hardest uh, kind of uh, zombie in the game. Right, so, hence the name. Yeah. 
Um, and then so each of the abominations does something slightly different. Okay. Uh, we just kind of have to hope for maybe, you know, we don't know what the abominations is going to do. We're going to draw one and then we're going to tell. And it looks like we have patient zero. So this actually says no special rules. So it's just going to take three damage to kill the abomination. Okay. All right. So we're going to put the abomination here. And that is the zombie phase. At the end phase, we remove all the noise tokens and we are good to go. I'm going to pass this first player token over to you Thank and you. it is your turn. All right. So Lizzie is going to use her mol Molotov. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I think that's perfect, right? Okay. Discard from him. Hand eliminate all actors in the targeted zone. However, does this mean that she has to uptick her AP for every single zombie that she killed? No, just uh, just the one. Just using the weapon. Okay. Uh, just creates one noise. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like... Okay, so you can discard that. <laughs> all right. And all that the. Oh, does she have to uptick her AP for yeah. each one? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the noise token. No. Uh. I would say yes. All right. So how many do we have there? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so she's up to seventeen, so she's almost in the red. So oh that's the goodness. negative of doing that, but she gets now. She gets to move here. Put it a little bit further out there. Um, she yep. gets to move here, so now she went from the blue to the yellow plus one action. So she gets an extra action. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's okay. Awesome. All right. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> so should she venture? Oh, no, she already has that. So maybe she shouldn't even bother going in there, right? I think you're right. <clears throat> um, I mean, this, she's not going to take damage from fatties, right? So you could right. maybe come into a and building search. and search. Maybe she'll come in and search. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Go for it. All right. Okay. So this is her second action. Okay. Was moving. Her third action is searching. Okay. Sawed yeah. off shotgun. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's great. But you could. And that, now she has a fourth action and yep. she can't search again. Could get a pimp weapon. Should crate. I do that? Uh, I mean, what else am I going to do except yeah. leave? Yeah. Yeah. It's up to you. And the pimp weapon crate is just weapons? Uh, I pimped out weapons? Pimped out P I M P. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of food in there. There might be. All right, I'll um, just do that then. Okay, yeah, sure. Grab a red card there. And that is uh, Zantek, Zantetsu. Zantetsuken? Zantetsuken. Cool. Whatever that is. And Looks the, like some kind of yeah, some kind of quiet, deadly. Yeah. You're rolling, you're rolling five dice. That's pretty cool. Um, and the Alrighty. game does say if when you take a pimp weapon crate, you can uh, rearrange your stuff for a free action if you want to. Interesting. So like if you want really? To okay. So yeah. I'm going to like switch this out. Switch out the, the baseball, baseball bat. bat. It's just like Sound slightly two. more effective. Yeah. Um, I'd say. All right. Cool. All right. All right. So next. So that was Lizzie. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So next, I think um, I'll have Her Royal Majesty open this door with her crowbar. Okay, nice. And there is one dark room in there in that building. So we're going to draw for that fatty rush. So only one fatty, but then it activates. So it's going to move one here. Okay. Interesting. Oh, no, sorry. You're in the yellow. Two fatties. Oh, Great. Um, okay. Two fatties coming at her royal majesty. So that was just one action, right? That was one action. Yeah. Right. So she's going to move now. She's going to move. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, because the her royal majesty, the queen, does not have any weapons that can kill a fatty. Yeah. Should I move her here? And then what do you think? You could. Yeah, you definitely could. Just to be with the group. Yeah, I'm okay. just going to move over here, and okay. I'm not going to take the other her action. final action. Okay, cool. All right, so now I have Amy. Yep. So Amy does have a pistol. A pistol? Oh, but those are fatties, so that doesn't help That's out. correct. Yep. You need to do at least two damage with your weapon in order to kill a fatty. 
you can keep hitting it with a one damage weapon all day and it won't do anything. Yeah, so what do I want Amy to do? I feel like I botched this. You didn't botch it. You're um, fine. So what does this abomination part... Like if uh, I... Why don't you get the manual here, babe? Um, so the abomination just takes three hits to kill it. Um, so the abomination... Okay. Patient zero is right there. Hold on. Okay. So it only deals one wound still. Okay. Um, to eliminate damage three or a Molotov, because um, Molotov does three, and you get five, you have to go up five AP once you kill it. All right. Okay. Um. So, all right. So I'm going to do a free uh, move action there. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to open this. Okay. So okay. then we have to spawn. Yep. So where uh, do you want to spawn first? Um, spawn there. there. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's really Walker nice. rush. So two, since we're on yellow, <laughs> two walkers, and then they activate. So then they'll move. Okay. And then the other room here, we have <gasps> walker rush again. Four, spawn and activate. Jeez. Man. <laughs> okay, now they're going to come right. up here. So... Where's the Molotov? <laughs> okay, so... Alright, so... So far I've only used one action, so I have two more. So I'm just going to um, use the pistol. Okay. And then for uh, attacks, we roll. And we actually have some cool... These are like custom dice. They're like these metal heavy dice. Um, I couldn't really find a good thing online to say what the Molotov and the zombie face are. Um, I did find one little thread and they were saying like the zombie face is one and the Molotov is six. So that's just the way that we're playing. So again, zombie face is one. The Molotov symbol is six. Okay. Cool. All right. You're all, you all good? And a one. Are you sure that didn't mean six? <laughs> I think actually it did mean six. I'm just six. kidding. All right. Um, so I'll just try one okay, more Okay. Try it again. And right, we have so two. I did nothing. Mm. Mm. And what, was that your turn? Um, no, I have Lizzie. You have Lizzie yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, Lizzie is going to search. Okay. She got a machete. A machete. Mm. You can't eat a machete. All right. No, you cannot. So... And she gets an extra action. So she gets four actions. So Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Mm hmm Oh no, but that would be there. four. Because I already searched. Are you searched? I thought she gets four actions. Right. So she was in here, she searched for one, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Yeah. Oh you you didn't want to just hang here? No, I was hoping to try to shoot something. Oh, uh, well, I see. I see. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, that's... Yeah. That's all I really can do, right? Right, right. Because anywhere I go, unless I go one, two, and then try to shoot them. Uh, I mean, this is a lot of zombies, right? Mm -hmm. So if, like, they all come to Amy, and they then they all activate and they all hit her she's dead instantly right okay. so we are going to need some maybe some other and you're um, going to come down here too right yeah 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 i can go down there yeah so i'll i'll take somebody down there yeah all right that so i'll just go here there. Okay. okay awesome so it's my turn um so let's do hmm Let's get, let's get old Sean Connery. One, two, and then Sean Connery is going to shoot his shotgun into this room. All right. So I'm going to be rolling two dice uh, for the shotgun and I can hit the room one tile away or one zone away. Uh, I'm hitting on four or greater and they do two damage. Nothing, man. Dice this are is really not working not out working right out now. In our yeah. Okay. So, hmm. Crap. All right. So I guess. Do you want to trade? Do I get? 
Do I need to Anything? get Ned? Not right now. Um, I think I'm going to take Ned here. And then I think I'm going to use the sniper rifle to shoot into this room here. So the sniper rifle lets me shoot one to three zones. Uh, I roll one die and I hit on three or more. Oh, uh, and you know what? Were you... Uh, Sean Connery tried to use his shotgun and that made noise. I gotta start remembering this noise stuff. All right, so here we go. Uh, hitting on three or higher. Okay, so a six. Oh, All sorry. Right. I made noise as well with oh, my you pistol. Did? Okay, mm -hmm. you had, oh, where did you make noise? Just put it down there. Where I am right now. Amy. Okay. All right, put a noise there. Um, so Ned killed somebody. He's going up one on the adrenaline points track. And then I think, all right, here we go. What an impact you made, Ned. Here's here's old Liam Neeson with the RPG. I don't know who you are. What and what do does have, the RPG do again? Um, it allows me to blast an entire, uh, not an entire area, but um, it does. I ha can only shoot two to three zones away. I roll one die, hits on three or greater, and it does three damage. So I'm going to try to take out abomination. the abomination here. Okay. Yep. So here we go. One die, abomination. Hopefully we'll get some three luck. or um, more. Okay, oh, four. There we go. God. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, okay, so cool. the abomination is gone. Amazing. And now. How much do you go up on the AP track for that? Five. Wow. So I go up five. All right, going up five, and that was one, two, three, shooting. Okay, cool. now it's the, uh, that was my third action. I see. Uh, right. Firing the RPG. Uh, okay, so I think that's all of our stuff, right? Now we activate the zombies, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just go around. Let's do these. So they're going to all move out here with us. Wow, how exciting. How exciting. It's a party. Welcome to the party, pal. But the good thing is, you know, once we resolve this, whoever survives, wait, if one of us dies, then do we all fail? We lose the game. Okay. So, okay. Lose. So after we survive this, then, you yes. know, this is free right, right. rain. Like, yep. Yep. Because they don't spawn again in here. They only Correct. respawn in those Correct. red respawn yep. areas. Yeah, you're right. Cool. So let's spawn for this tile here. Runners. So one runner. Okay. Not the worst. Uh, next card. Extra like activation. Yeah. All walkers. What does that mean? They activate. So. Oh, no. All right. So, so what does that mean? So that one that you just placed attacking. is one? That's a runner. These are oh, walkers. Runner. Okay, so walker. they're doing five hits to us. So we can distribute however we want between these four characters um so i'd say okay. at least we all take one right and then we'll have one wound left over for somebody to take two right mm -hmm. so ned's gonna take a, a wound he's gonna go from three to two um sean connery is gonna take a wound going from three to two okay okay so you have to are you gonna take a wound per yeah. uh lizzie and amy mm -hmm. yes okay so you just want to take your um, peg down to from three to two. Yep. And then we have to just decide who is going to take the additional wound. Um, well, I'm going to have the queen come in okay, and for, heal, she has which the is medic. what I'm looking up right now. The medic. That heals all survivors, including herself, for one uh, healing. Oh, but she can't do it until the end of the... And Next she has to be in the same zone. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's see here. I'm thinking maybe Lizzie should take it because she's very, if you can see here, she's very close to orange. Wait. Where is orange? This is orange here. And then there's the. Oh, and the red, red is at the very. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So she's very close to orange, which would make her a field medic. So essentially she should be able to heal herself. Yeah, and like, you know what? If she gets into trouble too. with some fatties, she can soak up the yeah. damage for free. Yeah, okay. so I'm thinking Lizzie should take All right, take so Lizzie it. will take the extra damage. Okay. All right. 
And now the other walkers activate again. So they're just going to move because they don't have somebody to hit. And now we need, that was for that section. And now we need to draw a card for here. Fatties. So three fatties. Okay. Three fatties here. All right. And now the noise tokens go away. And we start a new round. That first player token will go to me. I'll take that. Thank you. All right. I say you use that. Seth uses his RPG to... Because we, we can't move out of here without at least spending one action per zombie. zombie. Right. So we're kind of stuck here until we resolve these zombies. Right, right. You are correct. Right. Well, I think, huh? Yeah, we're in a we're in a kind of a tough pickle here. So I think I think Rob here is going to use his shotgun. Oh, and I'm sorry to interrupt, yeah. but just keep in mind. Lizzie has various weapons if you would want to trade. Yeah, see, the, the good thing about the melee mm -hmm. weapons is that they don't potentially uh, hit other survivors. Right. And that's the thing with ranged weapons. If you miss zombies, they can potentially hit um, other survivors. So you got to kind of watch out for that. So I think, I think Sean Connery is just going to try to start blasting away or should he try to shoot the fatties here no Maybe. because we we're all stuck here until those zombies are resolved yeah i know but not everybody has a weapon that can shoot range to start doing the fatties yeah but like we're all stuck there like all of us are going to take our turns like we need to start making moves to pick up this stuff you know what yeah. i mean yeah first i i think we need a because then once once these are resolved, then we can move away from the fatties. Right. We right. don't have to like resolve them right now. Right. That's just my opinion. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. I think I just want to blast some some fatties right now. I think it's I think it's fine. Because these these fatties are eventually gonna come up here anyway. Okay. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna do a shotgun on the fatties here. I'm rolling two dice. Hits on four or greater, and they're doing two damage. Alright, so I hit two of them. So I killed two fatties. There we go. Old Sean Connery coming through, trying to save the queen. All right, so that was one action. And I think now I'm going to blast this area as well. Or should I do the pistol? I think I'm going to do the shotgun again. Well, actually, Oh, man, you have to add the know. noise. Oh, yeah, for the shotgun. Thank you, babe. Okay, there we go. So I guess I'm going to do the... Hmm. Because if I do the shotgun and I miss the shotgun, that's two damage per shot. So we don't could potentially be taking you three. Need, you so need I'm to gonna do, do a do melee the, weapon. Well, I don't... Uh, then I would trade with me and then do it. Okay, yeah. Because you want to trade? Lizzie will die. All right, let's and then trade. We'll be done. Let's trade. Do you want to just give me one of those? Do you want a pistol as, for mm. something? Maybe um, give me the machete if you're not going to be using that. Well, the machete is the, my only weapon that does two damage, so I'm not giving that to you because okay. you already have one that does two damage. So you you can take. How about you take this one? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you want the pistol? Um, All right, you take yeah, the I'll take the pistol because I can use the, 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 um, if no, you... they have to be the same name. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. Um, she was talking about a dual wielding mm -hmm. symbol like this pistol has, but it has to be the same name in order to use both of them for one attack action. All right. Um, so I'm sorry, since, um, I'm being given the opportunity, I want to rearrange. Rearrange. Sure. Sure. Um, all right, well, while you're doing that, I'm going to okay. attack with Sean Connery. He is rolling five dice with this. Uh, this Zantek, Zantetux, Zantetsuken. Zantetsuken. All right, here we go. I'm trying to hit on four or greater. All right, so one, two, three. That's not bad. So I cleared out three. All right, so 
three are cleared out. He's going up one, two, three. Man, I'll tell you what, Sean Connery is kind of, he's kind of doing the thing right now, doing the damn thing. All right, so I think I'm gonna just do that same thing, right? Just use that same weapon right here again. And I'm hitting on fours or greater. So here's that a four, one. okay? So that's uh, that's it. Oh, okay, one. That's why they call him Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. All right, mm. cool. So that was uh, that was old Sean Connery. Now, should I have old Liam Neeson go here and then shoot the rocket here? What's the mm. rocket? Uh, the RPG seven what shoots that, two though? to three away. It hits. Uh, it does three damage. Or I just have him come here and then do a uh, use the fire axe. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Is okay. the fire axe a weapon? Like a melee it weapon? It is. Yep. All right. Ned's so are, go. Did you already use Ned? No. He's not already yet. there. Not yet. All right. So. Did you want to do yeah, anything but, against like all those zombies? Uh, no, because. Um, like, do we need all of these? Well. Right here. I mean, if I go if I go here, right? Um, Liam Neeson only has a fire axe and an RPG seven. I won't be able to shoot the the RPG seven in the same spot as me, so I'll only have the fire axe and Do I'll you only have be able to, to roll move? one. You, well, I mean, should we start coming down here? Maybe try to start clearing out some stuff. Maybe. Oh yeah. So okay. So two people. So should we plan out like who's gonna get what from where? Well, I'm thinking, oh, base came right out. There we go. Liam Neeson's so, so slippery. All right, so I'm, Liam Neeson's going to come here, okay? And then I am going to attack this zombie, okay? So I am going to roll one die. I hit on four or greater. This is the fire axe. Three, crap. So I get one more. I think I'm just going to do the same thing. Two crap. All right, so man, maybe I should have used their RPG or somewhere else, but that's fine. I feel like something should have been done here, but why? Well, what's not Sean, done? But Liam Neeson really can't do anything there. That's what that's what I'm saying. Um, so Ned or Ned here, he is going to. Should he just shoot? Maybe he should just shoot, shoot the, the fatty. fatty. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to shoot the fatty. Yep. So I'm rolling one mm. die. And this hits on three or greater. Crap. Shit. I'm going to try it one more time. God, less. Um, should I just do it one more time? Yeah. All right. There we go. Man. Oh. Dice are not cooperating All right. today. Is it my turn? It is your turn, yeah. It is your turn. And that created noise every time. So actually, I did three shots with a sniper. And then I I used the fire axe with Liam Neeson. Okay, your turn. Okay. Really need to get Liam start using an RPG. What I do have is a very particular set of skills. All right, so... Skills that I've acquired over a very long career. Are you against me moving the queen here? No. To get some, Not she needs all. a weapon. Okay, Not so all. one, I'm moving the queen here. Okay. Oh, right, because she needs to heal people. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's is, right. And is the medic an action? Nope, it's a free thing at the end of the... Oh, right, it's the complete end, okay. Yep. So the queen's going to be here, that's one action, and then, um. wait, the trade. So does that have to be an action taken on the part of the person that has the stuff? No. Or can whoever, she initiate it? Yeah, her royal magic, the queen would be initiating okay. the trade. Okay, so she is not giving up anything because she's the queen, but um, she's going to <laughs> take from Lizzie a pistol and a baseball bat. Okay. Cool. Um, so that's her second action. And then her third action is going to be using the baseball bat on that zombie. Okay, cool. All right, and you're rolling uh, two, dice, two dice, hitting on three or greater. Can you hold yep, it for me, please? There we go. Awesome. Two fours. So okay. they are dead. Here. 
Thank you. Um, and then she'll just go up one. Okay. Nice. All right, All right. So that's her turn. So finally cleared out that little place. All right. So now um, I think Amy is going to come in here. Okay. Um, for her free move action. Okay. Um, she's going to take this. Yep. Got it. Um, so she'll go, go up, up five. five. Yep. So that's her first action. Second action is going to be a search. Okay. Ah. Great. Place a, what is it? Place a walker, place a walker in, the in the zone. Then discard this Okay. Card. Place a walker here. Okay. There you go. This guy's cool looking too. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, oh wait, how many actions was that? Uh, so Two. you did your free, you searched, and you took the objective. Um, yeah, so, the, so I, free, you get one, two. So, yep. Okay. Right. Um, so if I use a pistol on this zombie, I can't hit myself, right? If you I cannot miss... hit yourself. All right, so should I just kill the zombie? Or, yeah. Sure. I yep. have to, right? I yep. really have yep. no other choice. Okay. All right, so well, one I mean, die. Attempt to kill. One die, three or greater. Okay. Two. Oh, of course. Okay, that's fine. And that made noise. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's Lizzie's turn. This is old Lizzie. So. Now Lizzie has two wounds, right? So she'll definitely want to be with the queen at the yeah, end. Yeah. So I think I think I'm just going to have her use the salt off salt off shotgun to shoot the fatty. Okay. Sure. Here. Yep. Two dice hitting on three or greater. Okay. Hold that for you. Okay, you got a six. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so Fatty is dead. There you go. And Man, do you go Lizzie how many uh, how many do you just one. Feet? Just one. Okay. Okay. All right. Lizzie is um, almost in the orange. One away. One away. And then can I go after this? With that sawed off shotgun as well? You can. Because it's um, line of sight. You can. Uh, Amy just might get hit. Um, oh, right, right, right. I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? I want to stay with the queen. So mm. um, are there any other action options? Uh, do nothing. Here? Make noise. Um, no, we have enough noise. We have enough there. noise there for sure. Um, yeah, if you don't want to move, I guess I'll just shoot, just kind of end, end it here. It. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. So now the zombies activate. So this zombie is going to hit Amy. So Amy is going to take one wound. So Amy's kind of, she's down as well. Yeah. The fatties are going to go, or let's just move these guys first. Fatties. And then the, these fatties are going to come out of the door. Uh, the runner is going to go and the runners go two times. So they're going to go again. And now we are going to spawn. We're going to spawn here first. Uh, one fatty. Okay, not the worst, right? Uh, now we have this section over here. Four walkers. Okay. Four walkers here. There you go, guys. Get in there. All right. And then we have, for the last section here, for runners so these are a little bit worse than the walkers and why is that again because they activate two times right so one two three four but they still only take one hit okay all right okay remove the noise all right so the queen is using and her the queen, medic yep the queen healed so Everybody in the queen space, including the queen, heals. Okay. And then you take an AP per heal. Like for everybody that's All right, healed. So Lizzie's healing. Sean Connery is. Okay. So that's two. Um, and Ned is. All right. Oh boy, Liam Neeson. Still good. All right. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then now this passes to you. Right? And now it is your turn. All right. So Amy has to get out of Dodge. She should probably join everybody, I'm guessing. Or should she, like, go back? Oh, wait. She should probably attack this zombie. I think she should probably attack. Um, but, again, it's up to you. 
pistol is better than the crowbar right now in there. Mm-hmm. Just because it hits on threes as well. All right. Not just fours. So one die. Okay, six. Okay, cool. So this zombie is dead. All righty. All right, so that's one action. Yeah. Um, so she gets a free move now. Yeah. But also I think search. I'm going to have her search, yeah. yeah. Good idea. Oh, Are my you kidding goodness. Me? Like, what the heck? Oh, uh, my. No, let's really get a new guy. All right, let's get uh, let's get this guy right here. All right, so all right, so I'm just gonna <laughs> okay, uh, pistol again, and then before we do that, let's just put two noise, okay. one for killing the other one, and then one for this shot. Ooh, one away, one away. This could still have one more attack, and then you'd also still get a free move, and that would put you in yellow if you kill him, giving you wasn't that three? I attack. The one zombie I searched, and then I just oh, shot that one. You did. Yeah. I know it's confusing oh. because I get an extra like, movement, but I didn't yeah. use it. All right. So okay. that's annoying. Um, all mm. right. So I have to use the salt off shotgun. I have to have Lizzie shoot that zombie because Amy is close to that. Let me, let me ask you something. Oh, wait. I haven't used my free movement. I want to... Oh, I can't. Yeah, because you oh, got a zombie shit. there. Can I? I guess I can't redo it. Um, so let me let me run something <laughs> by you, a possibility, because we're starting to get closed in up here, right? And from yeah. down here, uh, one thing we could try to do, and it might not work, we could come down to this one, try to kill all these guys, and then maybe book it through this building up to this way, and maybe just have these guys just kind of. Don't yeah, follow we us. could do that, but Amy, if she gets hit once, she's well, we dead. Would, we would get her out. Like, I'm not going to leave her in this building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now, my priority is to make sure Amy doesn't die. And she could also, if we help her, she could bust through this door out the back. You know what I mean? Right. Go that was there. what I was trying to okay. do, but cool. then... Cool. Yeah, that zombie um, didn't die. Right. So okay. I just want Amy with the queen so she can be healed. Sure, sure. Understandable. So... I'm going to move the queen here. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the queen's going to use her baseball bat on that zombie. Okay. All Is right. Is that okay? I just sure. like, I can't, I mean, obviously if Amy dies, then like, sure. we're all screwed, yep. right? Yeah, baseball bat is better. Rolling two dice, hitting on three or greater. Four. Okay. So he's dead. Okay. All there right. we go. All righty. Um, search. I could have the queen search, but that might pop, pop, uh, pop up another zombie. So, uh -huh. like, which also I now we're not even searching. All right, I'll just search. And it's up to you. No, I'm. I mean, we have to, right? Molotov. Sweet. Okay. That's perfect right now. Yeah. That is perfect. So that's three actions. Okay. So I would have to rearrange in order God, to use that it, though, was right? Huge. Yeah. You could also get somebody else to just trade. Trade. Right? Yeah. All right. All right, so the queen has done oh, her man. royal duty. That came out of nowhere. All I right, so that. now Lizzie. Now Lizzie. So Lizzie has four actions now. So she could go in for one, get the Molotov cocktail for two, pop out here for three, and throw it for four and take out all those. That's definitely that's definitely an option. Uh, we also should consider the runners. I'm not like there will be more of those guys there. Um, what if? Because those are two fatties there. Yeah. And then four other zombies. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I was just gonna say, what if we all went into this room and then all the zombies went here and then you you could to try to get us and use the Molotov, but the runners are gonna activate twice, so then they would come in with us. You know what I mean? So is it better to take out all the runners then? And then we'll just try to backdoor it through these buildings? You could hang on to the Molotov one more time and maybe I can try to use my guys to take these out now. You know what I mean? So I don't know. You tell me. 
Well, it's Lizzie's turn right now. Well, Lizzie also doesn't have to be the one to use the Molotov, right? right. She no, could do I other know. Things and so, I could so trade. what? What should she do then? Oh, that's that's up to you. You could get the Molotov. You could throw it at that section. I wouldn't be opposed to that. You could throw it here. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Uh, you could just have her. Uh, that can, she doesn't have anything that can open doors. No. Um, she I could think, try to shoot some of these guys. I, I think what makes the most sense is, yeah, she could try to shoot. She could just try to shoot them four Start, times. Try to shoot, shoot them. Should she just do that and see She's rolling two dice. She's rolling two dice and hitting on threes. She's got a 50-50 shot for th uh, two dice. So should I just do that? That's up to you. I wouldn't be opposed to that either. I think that's good. All right, because I feel like the Molotov should be saved for like when there's a combination of things that like take more than one. Now who knows damage. if we're ever gonna get that again? And there could be yeah. a crap ton of zombies All right, that come so... later. Okay. So where are you shooting? Here. All right. Hitting on threes or greater. Two hits. So take out two of these guys. Awesome. Lizzie goes uh up two. So now she is actually in the orange. Yeah. So so the wait i don't understand why that hit took out two it wasn't it only targeting one no you roll two dice for each success okay, so okay. for each three or greater okay sorry it does one damage. all right so she's in the orange so what does this mean like do you skip over it like or do you you just go one down i'm not entirely sure um is it like you use this other spare to indicate that both of these are available I don't know. Let's look it up. Yeah. Okay. We're going to check it out quick. So the manual says you can choose either one. And then, uh, Lauren, which one did you go with? So I think I'm going to go with field medic because okay. we are in serious need of some healing. Some, some healing. We definitely need some healing. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. Um, so I kind of forgot how, I, oh yeah, because I killed those two walkers, so I, two walkers. I got yep. up into the orange. So I still have, do I have three more actions? You still have the yellow and blue, right? I don't know, what? like, I don't know how many, you mean the skills? You still no, have those skills. I've only taken one action, correct? Which was shooting those I think so. walkers, so yeah. I still have three more actions. Okay, left. all right, cool. Right? I think so. Okay. Sweet, we'll just go with that. And you so, shot him with a shotgun, right? I did, yeah. Okay, noise. Um, so I guess maybe I'll just shoot again. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Kind of wish we had that plus two damage right now, right? No. Nah. <laughs> okay, oh. so it, does it hit on threes? It does hit on threes. Oh, it does so you hit do on hit, threes. you do kill so one. You do kill one. one. All right, okay. so I'll take that up again. Okay. And then, um, Should I just do it again? Or should I shoot into those zombies? Hmm. You could. You definitely could. But the um, those are more they of a threat, right? Twice. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Because again. if all these guys came into our well, I mean, we could we couldn't be able to move out, right? Oh, how many more actions do you have left? Um one. You have one? I think. And she has feel medic. Does that mean is that the same as the queens at the end of the phase? She heals one. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can find this quick. Field medic. Uh, that just there says medic. Here we go. The survivor can use this skill once during each of their turns. The survivor spends one action. They move up to two zones to a zone containing at least one survivor. Then they may heal one wound from any survivor in the destination zone, including themselves. All right. Well, I know what normal, I'm going to do then. Normal movement rules apply. Okay. Oh. Wait. So, can I go here and then heal Amy and that's all one action? Survivor can use a skill once during uh, survivor spends one action. They move up the two zones to a zone containing at least yeah. one survivor. Then they may heal one wound from from any survivor in the destination zone. They may heal one wound from any survivor, including themselves. It 
just so funky way they did it. Yeah. And, um, so I think that so, just but means it's only anybody. One, so she can only go. Yeah. One. Anybody in that zone. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. So Amy is still hanging on by a little thread. Hanging on by thread. All right. Yeah. So I think. Is that your turn? It's your turn. Okay. Yep. Awesome. All right. Whew. So let's just start with old Sean Connor. And he is going to shoot his shotgun at this runner. Actually. Are we going to try to backdoor now, this stuff? Like, I, th I think. I think so. Yeah. So. I mean, if we Love do, should we, should we go approach. in here? <laughs> um, should I yeah. take this guy out and start trying to bust through here? So I have a question. So yeah. we already opened that building. So does that mean if we open another door, it doesn't at the spawn building's the door? already explored. Sweet. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. One hundred percent. Okay. Should I try to take out any of the? Eh, no, I'm gonna just try to. If that's the case, then I'm just gonna take Sean Connery into this zone, so then I can use my Zantet Zantet Suken. I might never be able to say that word, but it's a good weapon. So I'm rolling five dice. I'm hitting on four greater. And here we go. Four greater. There we go. I got it. So they are dead. It sounds like a commercial for like Zantac, like allergy medicine. Zantetusin. Where you're like saying Zantac and Gazuntite at the same time. <laughs> nice. And then that actually put uh, Sean Connery in the yellow. So... He then gets one extra action, so pretty big. He, however, oh, he has break in, so he will be able to open this Perfect. door for free. Um, and then he is going to go in here. So that was one movement, two to attack. Mm -hmm. He used the free action, uh, three to go in there, and he is going to search. So can I have a um, card there, please, babe? Come on. Chainsaw. Really need food, <laughs> but still, not, not the worst. Okay, so hmm. let's have Ned. Ned's gonna go one. Do you not want me to hang out with you guys? I mean, you have the whole healing crew. All my guys are at full health too. Yeah. If I, I can go back here, fine. that might be good. Yeah. Okay, so Ned's going to go back here, um, and then Ned is going to, Ned's just going to use his sniper rifle. Well, no, Ned's going to go in here. Uh, Ned's going to do a free search action. Come on, Nedley. Come oh, on, Shotgun. Ned. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, your characters need to pick so up the one, tiles and two, find food. And then he's going to go... He's going to go, oh no, the fatties are going to come through this door. I forgot it's, okay, he's going to go three. Okay. So Ned's going to go there. All right. Okay. Um, oh, Liam Neeson. I will find you. So Liam Neeson's going to go here. And then I guess he's going to go two, three. Should he just hang on there or should he just shoot his RPG? Yeah, let's shoot the RPG just while we're here. Um, so wait, can he shoot it from here and shoot here, the baddies? Here, he's gonna shoot these guys. Oh, okay. Just this this okay. group here. So the RPG hits two to three uh, zones away. Oh, I'm only rolling one die. Oh, that's a long range. Or or I could use the alternate and roll five dice. Uh, I'm trying to get this card out of the slot here, to show you. Or I could use the other. And correct me if I'm wrong, I couldn't find this. I don't know if this means it takes up both your arm slots, right? So that you're holding it with two hands. But I don't think so because then how would you... Which I, I still think you have to choose one of these. So I think that's the way, right? You can choose either one to use during the turn or the action. So you can either do one die and it hits for three damage if it hits, or five dice, and they all hit for one. So it's like an explosion, right? So I think I might do that and try to hit four walkers, right? Okay. Try to do the most damage there. So 
Liam Neeson is going to roll five dice, hitting on three or greater. And I got two hits. All right. So, I mean, that's okay. All right. It's okay. Two hits will kill, knock out these two guys. And Liam Neeson's going to go, but that actually puts him in the yellow as well. And he gets a free action. So I can't cool. use the RPG again because I would ha I have to reload that. So I either okay. need to spend an action or at the end of the round it resets. So he's just going to go in here. So that was one, two to fire, three. And I think he's just going to go four for his last action. And that, and then all I have, yeah, I did everything else. Okay, cool. All right, and you did everything, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so zombies. The most noise is here, so these guys are going to go here. Uh, the zombies cannot see them, so the zombies are going to go here, okay? okay. I, I did forget that. If they could see me, they would go here, but since they can't, they go to wherever the most noise okay. taken is. Uh, runner, fatty, and then these guys here. And then the runners will activate one more time. And then now we spawn. All right. So spawning at number one. An abomination. Oh, no. All right. So where do those abominations? Okay. Here we go. So we have abominacop. The abominacop goes first in targeting priority order. Okay. All right. So the abominacop. Is that this guy? Where are you, bro? All right, this he goes here. All right, the next spot, six walkers. Okay. Two, three, four, oops, five, and then six. Okay, and then last one for here, Fatty Rush. Three fatties. And then they activate. So they can see. Isn't it four? It's orange. Oh, crap. Have I been doing this wrong? I don't think so. I think you did it right no, now. No, then no, I get. There's two more that spawn here. Mm. And then the uh, the abomination. Um, so then the. Yeah, four fatties. And then they activate. So their activation, they're going to go in here with me because they can see me. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And now you have some healing effects, right? Yes. And then uh, noise goes away. Okay. Um. So her royal majesty can do it. So she'll okay. heal Amy. And, and she goes up an AP for up. that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. So... All right, my turn. Awesome. Okay, so I have some decisions to make. All right, <laughs> so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to have Sean Connery with the shotgun, right? Um, so he is going to shoot the shotgun <clears throat> at these fatties. He's rolling two dice, hitting on four. Annihilating with alliteration. Annihilating. Annihilating Trebek. Okay, there's a four. So one is dead. He's going to go up one. Okay, he's just going to shoot again. Here we go. Okay, you got a six. There's another one dead. He's going up on the AP again. He's at nine. Uh, he's just going to shoot again. I'm going to have to put noise tokens. Okay, there's a four. So he killed another one. He is on a roll right now. Wow. So here's another two tokens for those shots. And then one more. I think he's, because he has a plus one action, because he's in the yellow. And he's just going to try to shoot this last guy. Four grade. Ah, of course. Last one. You know, last so one. Sean Connery died in October. And Alex Trebek recently died. What do you think they're doing up there? Probably watching us. Watching us, That's yeah. probably... Why that just happened? Maybe. What? Failed the last shot? No. <laughs> well, I mean, it is Sean Connery after Sean all. So, like, Connery. he can't, like, completely succeed. 
Not every single one, right? Right. Most of them. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do now is I am going to with <clears throat> Ned here. I'm going to use a free search action for his first. Can I have a blue card there, please, man? Oh, Come fire on, axe. man. Come on. We need some food. All right. Then. Can't you just use the fire axe to chop off like someone else's arm and make it count for food? And just eat that? I guess <laughs> well, you Well, just could. like save it in case you need it for food. You don't have right. to like, eat all the food immediately. You know what right. I mean? Right. I see like, what you're Like in saying. case you run out of, you know, little rice bits. Rice bits. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> Okay. Well, it could be like sesame seeds. You sprinkle it on, you know, <laughs> Lizzie's arm. Anyway. All right. So let's, uh, I'm going to have Ned. He just did a free <clears throat> search, right? Ned's going to use one action to go into this room. Okay. He's going to pick this up. Okay. Good, Ned. Thank you. He's going to go up five AP <clears throat> and that's going to put him at six though. Okay. So he's one away from a fr another free action or a free action plus one action. Um, yeah, I'll get it right one day. And then, so this door is closed. So I think I'm going to just take, oh, should I just try to shoot? No, I can't shoot through there. Um, all right. You so want to search again? We need Yeah, food. let's search. Let's search. No, I can only do one per. Oh, round. right. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Um, all right. So then I guess I'm just going to go here. Okay. And... That was free search, one, two, three. Yep, all right, that's Ned. So I did Sean Connery and him. And now we have Seth. So Seth is going to pick this up for an action, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, not Seth. Liam Neeson. Seth. What am I talking about? Seth. Okay, that was one, um, two. <coughs> it's gonna go here. And he's going to try to kill this fatty with his fire axe because the fire axe can do two damage. Okay. So he's rolling one die, though, which <clears throat> kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, here we go. Ah. Um, so he has, he did that one, two, three. Has, was has the, he searched yet? He has not searched, but you can't search with a zombie, right? I, should, I probably should oh, have right. back here. Yeah. But oh, well, so I'll just try to attack in. again. Try to attack again. No. Nah. Okay. <clears throat> That's my turn. It is now your turn. So we, the, the good thing is we did pick up two more objective to, uh, tokens, right? All right. So let's just pause and see what our remaining parts of the mission are. We need are. two more objective tokens okay, so and two more pieces Rob of Rob needs to pick up an objective token. Right. The queen needs to pick up an objective token. Right. And then we need two we more need pieces of two food. Two pieces of food. Yep. Okay. So the queen is going to try to get hers here. Okay. Or worst case scenario, down there. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll try to search along the way. So we're just okay. gonna try to survive to get to the exit at this point okay. while searching and getting the queen to pick up an objective. I like that plan. Tile. And then we'll try to come up here maybe. Get this one same. or that one, because this is only two, and then maybe meet meet with you around here in the middle. Yeah. Maybe or if, if or if if I get down there fast enough, then you can just work your way down there and pick up. Sure. That. Yeah, or that one right there. Yeah, because it's right there. Yeah. Yep. yep, you're right. All right. Okay, cool. So let's make it happen, Captain. All right. Um You know what I mean, Queen? <laughs> Do you see this look that she's giving? This is this is the look she's giving. Is that right the resting what face? Is that the resting royal face. Resting royal face. Yeah. Alrighty. So I'm going to start with um, Amy, I guess, because okay. she has the free move okay. action, and she has the crowbar. Yeah. Oh. So so no action spent yet. She's going to search right now. Okay. At least it's not Sold a zombie. Off. Food has to be in there somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it's probably it's in the very bottom, right? got to be in there right? somewhere. Um, all right, so that's action one. Action two is going to be this crowbar action. Okay. Um, so 
so she has one more action. So, what if do you, you think? If you move, if you move out into that street, she's a target. They're gonna come straight down this All alleyway. Right. So she can't search again, right? She can't search again. Take the pimp weapon crate. Okay. Pi. I pre- guess that's the only option I have right now, right? Think Unless she so. wants to hold up. Hold up. Da, 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 da. Yeah, actually, instead of doing that, okay. what do you think? Should I rearrange so I have this instead of the pistol? Because Ooh, it gives bad, me an extra. That's not a bad I think I'm going yeah. to because I have no idea what the heck is yeah. going to be unveiled in those cards. <clears throat> yeah, All right, so that's what I'm going to do. That's true. Down. And then plus, if you take on the fatties anyway, what better than the shotgun right now, right? I mean, I could think of a better thing. There's probably but, yeah. is better, yeah. You're probably but considering what she has, that's the best. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So next up. Oh, I can also shoot that way though, right? Should I be considering that? Oh. Shoot that way with who? You can shoot that way with the queen and uh, Lizzie. With Lizzie. And don't forget, you not do the have queen. the Molotov with the queen, right? Yeah, I'm not going to use that unless I'm desperate. Yeah, I got you. Um, I mean, should I even bother trying to do anything with those? Or are we leaving this alone right now and we're just like kind of making a break for it? Well, so the thing is, right, if if you don't kill them or shoot at them, I would at least move out from this, right? Yeah. Because if they come into your territory, it's going to yeah, be so hard. That's what I'm, okay. How far could they move out? What's that? How far can they move in here? Because then maybe I should... One. All Move zombies, okay, all okay, zombies okay. but the runners move one. All right, so Lizzie is going to obviously move here for one. Okay. Sorry, I take that back. She's not okay. going to do anything yet. All right, the queen is going to move here for one. Okay. Is this one? Yep, that is one. Two. Okay. Yep. And then for three. Now that building's going to be revealed. Well, it was already opened. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yep. Oh, but is she a target for them now? Yes, because she's in line of sight. So what does that mean exactly? They're just going to come down this way instead of coming down through this building. Are we okay with that? That's up to you. All right. That's up to you. I mean, you I'm do have a do backup it. with the Molotov, yeah. right? Well, yeah, it's but in if her you backpack. Get, but if you get cornered, yeah, I mean, I. but you could always have Lizzie go out there and rearrange and just give it to Lizzie, right? Yeah, okay, so it's Lizzie's turn. So she gets four actions. So she's going to go one, two. Okay. I kind of think she should, but then I'm just leaving the queen there. Because if she goes three, and then she can search. Right, right. Or should I just leave her there? Leave the queen there? No, 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 leave Lizzie there. I mean, that's up to you. I mean, if you're, are you talking about for the healing aspect? I mean, because these fatties are just going to move right to here, right? So you still have another space before they affect your movement. Okay. You know what I mean? So should I just uh, move But then these you? guys are going to start, like, they're going to start coming down this through this way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it seems like to me, I mean, I know they seem far out, but they're not the furthest. They're just like one, two, and then they're in the building with mm-hmm. you. All right, one, two. I could take the Molotov cocktail from the queen you for could. three and then move in there. That wouldn't make any sense, though. All right, I'm just going to move in here for three and search. Okay. I think that's a good. Idea. We need food. There we yes! go. There we go. It is a bag of rice. You can see here. Okay, awesome. All right, so we only need one more food. One more. Item. Yep. Two more objective tokens, and we are close. <clears throat> Right? The queen needs it. All right. So okay. that's, that's all I got. That's all you got? Okay. Um, all righty. Oh, what am I talking about? These guys are on oh, no, the line of sight. is going to take priority. I was going to say. Wait, there's literally like a bag of chips right here. They could literally just pick up the bag of chips. It's probably stale. You know that's I mean? fine. I mean, if they still need the stale bag of potato out. chips or dried rice that has never been cooked. Yeah, plus you can't be picky, right, in the zombie apocalypse, right? That's right. Although I would be. <laughs> That's probably true. Okay. I'm sorry. Is this um, man's arm organic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's do. Um, so I'm. I think they cannot see. Um, uh, Amy. Amy. 
I don't think they can see Amy, which I didn't consider She's in a before. dark room. So, Does that matter? No. So I don't think so. So we're going to have him come here because <laughs> Sean Connery and uh, Liam Neeson have, are, have two tokens plus three noise tokens. So they're the noisiest. But since the queen is in sight, these mm -hmm. guys are going to move here. Um, and there's a runner here, which I didn't notice before. So they're going to eventually move in there. So one, one, um, stay there. So let's do the hit first. So there, he's going to hit, let's just take it on Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson can take it. By the way, when you give me advice, I assume like you can see like all the people that are involved. Okay, so now the runner moves again one more time. Okay, so but he's not going to attack. So they moved. Now it is on to spawning. So we're going to do this spot here. It's going to be three runners, right? Okay, three runners. One, two, mm. three. So you might want to backtrack. A pizza delivery guy, right? Okay. Uh, next spot over here, an abomination, but we already have one and you can only have one, but what this means is it just activates again. So he's just gonna move because they can't open the doors. The pizza delivery zombie is what would get me in the zombie, zombie apocalypse. Right, you would fall for the pizza? Yeah. All right. And then runners, three runners <laughs> here. So that's kind of, that kind of sucks. All right, so one, two, three. So it looks like you just need to beeline out this door, go through there. Well, I'm hoping they're gonna start coming through here and then I'm gonna beeline out through this way. Okay. I'm gonna try, uh, maybe. We'll see how it goes. I mean, the tactics might change. There's gonna okay. be a beeline, we just don't know. There's gonna be a beeline, that much Which beeline is gonna be. That's right. All right, so now this passes on to you. It is your turn. <clears throat> all righty okay so um, i'm going to move the queen first okay so you need to spend an extra to get out because there's a zombie there mm. or you just beat it with a bat that would be the same though, yeah right? i'm gonna like... know because i'd get an extra action if i did beat the zombie Ooh, yeah 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 so yeah. i'm gonna do that okay, going to cool. do that um all right, so you're rolling two dice, hitting on three or greater. There's a six, so he is dead. And queen goes up. Perfect. Okay, I needed that. That's good. Yep, All that right. was good. So now she's going to go one, two, and pick this up for three. So okay. now all three of my characters and have... And she gets five AP on the track. Right, so all right, so now we just need one more token. Yeah. Right? So now... Our focus is just beelining it to the exit. So right. in my opinion, I would try to just go through this door, zip through, zip through, down to the exit. Might not be a bad idea. Okay. Well, robbery needs to pick... Who? Rob Connery. Rob Connery. Rob Connery. Um, so I don't know. Where is he? He's Rob Connery's here. Things. This is blue. Blue Connery. All right, so I think he should just like swing by and pick that up. So if somebody's gonna open that door on our way, and the last thing you'll need to do is pick that up and get to the exit. So I it's would just possibility. Yeah, like, okay. All right. Who else are you doing my, here? Uh, yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Okay, so I think I'll do Amy next. Okay. So here's her free action one. Okay. And then two, three. And then she's going to search. Okay. Plenty of bullets. So that's actually not bad, but you don't have the pistol equipped. I mean, we do need the food. Yeah. Okay. All it, right. It is what it is. And now okay. So Lizzie, now Lizzie. Right? Yes. I'm going to have her search. Okay. And she gets four. She has four actions, by the way. There we go. Yay! Canned food. Okay. Canned Perfect. food. Last one. Which is, you know more understandable than a bag of rice. Um, perfect. Okay. okay, so the only thing that we have left to acquire is Rob Connery. Blue Rob Connery. Blue Rob Connery now. Well, because he's blue, blue, the blue base. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
so he can figure that out. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get him in a <laughs> All right. token. So, so sorry. Was that just that was just one action, right? That was one. It was your first. All right. So now, should I just have them all stay here for right now <clears throat> until I see like what goes down? Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> Um, so then like, these... there's no sense in me just like putting somebody out here at, like a yeah. And then so duck. this is how zombies work <clears throat> as well. So say this is one, two, three to be in your spot, right? Okay. One, two, three to be in your spot. These fatties will split up, right? Some going this way, some going this way. If they're okay. the exact same distance. I guess I should get a pimp crate. Get a pimp crate. Are uh, you fucking kidding me? I didn't know that was an option. God damn um, it. And place a walker in this zone. I was going to say, like, hey. as long as, like, I can't uncover another zombie. I'm such a moron. Right, Meanwhile, have, like, all three of the red cards. the baker. The baker, uh, baker walker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Was that it? I think that was it. No, right? I don't think so. I searched. You moved. I moved. And then you pimp see crate. pimp crate. So I have one left. Jeez. Okay. Because she has four actions. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, I guess I'm gonna use the machete. Yeah, that's. I think that's best. I mean, because I don't want to. One dice. Three, three or greater. Yeah, six. Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. I did not think that that was gonna go my way. You took her up on the AP. Yeah. Okay. All right. My turn. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's do first let's do Liam Neeson because he has the fire axe. I'm going to try to take out this fatty. Okay. Uh, so one die, four or greater. Um, if I don't get it, uh, we'll just figure it out from there. All right. So four or greater. Okay. Five. There we go. Sweet. Fatty is dead. They're like having a freaking block party. I know they there. they really are. Like there's really a one-man band, there's a guy in the freaking It's the autonomous uh, zone. All right, so now we are going to move Liam Neeson. He is <laughs> going to We have the food, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have the food. All right, so he's going to go. He just has to get up there to I clear I a path. hear you. I hear you. Um he's going to go one, two, I'm going to go try to go out this door. And my thought process is the abomination is going to try to start coming in here, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if that when they come in this door, I'm going to be like, see ya. I'm going to go out the back door, try to run up through here. Okay. okay? That's just, that's just the plan. Um, so I, I move, I killed. So that was one, two. Can I just ask a question? Three. Yeah. So where were you? I was here. So I did one. Uh -huh. There's two doors here. Two. Uh, and I so what if you just did one, two, three, and then you're already like out? Yeah, but I don't want to leave everybody behind, right? I want to kind of keep them together a little bit. Okay. Um, just, you know, you s stay together, right? Yeah. Survive is a, is a try. Sure. <laughs> Let's okay. pick up the pimp weapon crate. All right. So I'm going to take this. Um, and then Lauren, if I can have one of those red cards, please. Oh, whoa! Nail bat. This looks good. Um, I'm actually going to. Ooh. Ooh. So this can kill fatties. Yeah, it's two dice. This is a good one. However, I don't want to get rid of the fire. Like I don't want to put the fire axe in my backpack because, I mean, I do have a fire axe with Ned. So I will be able to open up. Oh, Sean Connery can open up doors for free. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to exchange the fire axe with the nail bat in uh, Liam Neeson. Can you do that? It's a pimp weapon crate. So you can rearrange for free if nice. you want to. And that is Liam Neeson. And he is going to use that RPG eventually. I will find you. I will kill you. Now it is... <clears throat> Now here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I think I'm going to, let's do one, two. See, now I don't want to open up that door yet though. Right? I think that he should go one, 
to three because he needs to go open that door and obtain the he's if the i go if i go it. one uh so he was here right if um, i go if i go one two three i do get a plus one action if i go four they are going to those zombies are going to come straight don't out. go four just could just you go, go one two three and chill there so that you're positioned so that you're positioned to then because like right now like all of my people are gonna like be fighting these zombies like he still has to break in I could like do that. break in there I could and do get that. that i could do that like so, he's the only one left with the task so one <clears throat> i didn't search right so one yeah, and you don't need to two three i'm gonna search here for my four okay questions. just keep in mind it might pull up a zombie yeah i want to search okay sawed off <clears throat> okay and now ned wait can the search pull up a zombie or is it only the red ones no the blue ones it's been in the blue ones okay. as well okay. okay so ned ned is going to ned's gonna do a free search take a free search are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Kukri. <clears throat> okay. Um, like this. And then Ned is going to. Can Ned open doors? He can now because I'm going to rearrange. So I'm going to do the fire axe, put the pistol away. And then I'm also. Do I move the shotgun in? Hmm. Are you sure you don't just want to try to like beeline? Well, if I now come up here, like I can't yeah. beeline with with him anymore, right? Because if I do one, well, if two, you didn't three, do the search, well, I had a f the other search, uh, yeah. But then Liam Neeson's on his own. I mean, I guess he works best that way, right? At least that's what the movies tell us. Um. <laughs> okay. So. Should I, I do that? Should I do that then? My opinion has always been to just do this like little shortcut because right now we're all just at this point beelining for the exit. We do not have to obtain any more weapons, like you okay. said. Okay. We just need to get out of it's the all right. exit. It's alright. I got. I got it. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got. Andrew. All right. So that is going to be. <clears throat> that's going to be him. That is going to be him. <laughs> Well, because I I'm going like to stay here. I feel like just shit the bed. No. That's... Ned, shit the bed. No, because these runners are going to move out. I mean, there are going to be... That's why you want to be over here. Bomb. Yeah, but then they got the abomination there. Hmm. Yeah, but if you're past the abomination... Hmm. Like, you want to be like, like, run for your life. Like, we are in run for your life mode. Pick up the shit you need along the way. All right, well, then I'm just going to go... I'm going to go <clears> here, then. I'm just going to go there. All right, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I just feel like it's it's gonna work too late because you shouldn't have searched and you should have been out of there already. But it's gonna work. It's, we're gonna I'm, make it work. Sure we're gonna work. make it work. All right. So that was all my guys. All right. All right. So here we go. Let's do the. Okay, we got to do the activation. Um, so let's do here. <clears throat> Uh, they're gonna go there. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna split, right? So they're gonna go. Uh, what do, What do you want to have? Two go here, and one go here. Sure. Okay. Um, and then these guys are gonna go. There's one, two. You have the most noise. Um, and then these guys are all gonna go. And we already did that, so these guys are gonna activate again. See now, when these guys start running, I'm just gonna try. Through the back door. Right. That's what I was saying. If you were able to make it past there in that past turn, otherwise right. it was pointless. Right. I got you. But maybe you can shoot them. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. we'll see. All mm -hmm. right. So we're going to spawn here. Uh, four runners. <clears throat> One, two, three, four over here. Seven walkers, because we're all still at orange, right? Yes. Right? Okay. Three, 
four, five, six, and then seven. All right, and then the last one, we have three runners here. Did these guys move? These guys didn't move. No. Okay, so. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. And then three runners there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, do you need to do any healing with the queen? No. Okay. All right. So now that passes to me, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now it is on to my turn. All right. So, Ned. All right. All right, brother. All right, brother. <clears throat> should I, should I have Liam come up here so we can get the heck out of here? I think so. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start with Liam Meeson. We're gonna come. I probably I shouldn't have moved him. I should have kept him right here. Yeah, and I just want to reiterate that my advice for you to do that was based on you not being there right now. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. I just want to release on, any liability it's from books. me. It's noted on the books. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So I'm going to have Liam Neeson come up here with a nail bat. Uh, two dice, three or greater. Okay. So one. It's one. Okay, he's gonna do it again. Okay, he hits another one. And then... Uh, you might just wanna spend the extra action to leave. Uh, I don't know. Cause you don't have to kill it. Like you just got, you have to get out of there. That's your, yeah, yeah, I know. That's your goal. You wanna oh, yeah. open the door. Okay, yeah, that's actually, cause if I miss, yeah. All right, so we're going to spend, because he has a plus one action. So that was going to be two actions to move away from one with a zombie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, old Ned here. Ned is just going to. Oh, wait, move. what does he get if he's in the yellow? Plus one action. So I think Maybe I'm going to try to kill, kill first. Yeah. But if I don't, yeah, it's fine. All right, so I'm going to try to. It'll be worth it if you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to hit it with the fire axe, four or greater. Okay, six. Got him. I go into the yellow with Ned, giving me yes. a plus one action. And, and I'm going to move here. So I have right. two more. I'm going to open the door. door. Open the door. That creates noise. Opening with the axe. Um... So that was one, two, I get one more. Did you include the, the fight yeah. in the zombie? Yeah. Um, do you want to do any trade or like reshuffling of items or anything? I th <clears throat> think so. Yeah, let's do a trade. Let's, let's re like do a trade and reorganize. But I'm going to give Liam Neeson the shotgun from Ned. Liam Neeson's gonna put the RPG-7 up in the top and Ned is gonna put the fire axe away and get out this kukri, put that in his hand. So that's gonna be him, okay? Now we have old Sean Connery. All right, I think he needs to mosey on over mosey to that door and get that what? tile. That right. needs to be the main focus. So that would be if I did that. Does he be have one, something to open two, the door? Three, yeah, for free. The chainsaw. Oh no, he can, yeah, open, he up can for open up. He can open up. He has break in. Okay. In my opinion, he All should right. just go so there. So I am. That. I am gonna do that. So one, two, three, <laughs> for a free action, I can break in. Now I've got to reveal the zombies. Mm -hmm. So this is for the farthest room. Mm -hmm. Walker rush. So seven walkers, and they move. Okay. So it's four. They move right now? Yeah. Five, six, 
seven. And this is for the other room. Hopefully this is not that bad. Seven walkers. Okay. All right, so that's three, six, and then seven. Okay, it's gonna be tough, but we can do it. Now, I don't think I wanna go in there. I can't go in there, I can't go in there right now. Because if I go in there, they're all gonna move to me and I'm not gonna be able to move with seven zombies right there. Right? So okay. I think I actually help you out by going here in the middle of the intersection. They see me, they start coming here, allowing you to maybe try to get out a little bit more with my last action. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, it's your turn. All right, so. We got this, right? We got this. I need to do some trading. Okay. Because I wanna try to get, um, at least one of my characters, like there's a, f like, I'll be able to have like the salt off. Okay. You know, for the one action, but then there's okay. also the two pistols. So I'm just trying to figure it out because like my, what I want to do is attack these. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then use the uh, Molotov cocktail on like the big group. Right. right. But there's going to have to be some trading involved in order to like get it all done in the least number of actions right right so let's let's work through this so sawed off is better than the pistol because you can roll more you're dice. rolling two dice yep. yep okay so in order to accomplish that i will have to do a trade and and let's use a field medic yeah so that means she can heal herself or just someone in the field she can heal herself as well at the same time, right? I don't think it really matters, right? All right. Yes, she can heal somebody. Yep. All right. So she's going to trade with um, Amy. Okay. Um, so what does that look like? So she's going to take Amy's salt off. Okay. Give Amy the machete. Okay. Um. Amy's pistol is going to go down. So here. now Lizzie's rocking two sawed offs. Mm -hmm. So Lizzie has two sawed offs. Now Amy has the pistol with the plenty of bullets. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that's one action for Lizzie. Okay. All right. So Lizzie's next action is going to be um, shooting at this group of sure, zombies sure. Okay. with the sawed off. So when you have this combination of weapons yeah when they're dual like this you can use both at the same time for one attack action instead of one for each so there you go okay so you would roll four dice and they hit one three or greater okay and three hits three nice hits. Okay. okay so all of these lizzie goes up nice okay and that was one that was one action. action. So she has two more, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll just um do it again. Or should I move out? That move doesn't out make sense. Do it. I'll just do it again, right? If the queen moved out, the queen could like go yeah, here. Go, a, you I'm know a, what I mean? Well I, I know you're right now you're Lizzie. I'm yeah. just I'm just saying yeah, for that's exactly what my yeah. plan was to get those and then use the Molotov cocktail on that group. Then you might want to move out, and then if you take care of this, then you could also shoot the fat. Oh no, that those can't. I'm just gonna either. shoot. Okay, sure, um, sure. So four dice. Hopefully one will hit. Yep. Okay. You got three sixes. Nice. Okay. So Lizzie goes up one more. All right. So she has one action left, right? Um. No, I think that's it. Okay. Okay. She traded two, three. Maybe she has one left. She traded, and then she shot, and she shot. Okay, so I'll move her one because she can heal. Like, because okay. my other people are going to be coming. Okay. All right, so next I'm going to do Her Royal Majesty the Queen. Okay. 
Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do with her is some um, trading, trading and rearranging. So okay. she's going to be trading and rearranging with Amy. Okay. So she's going to give Amy this pistol. Okay. So that now Amy has dual the dual pistols. With the plenty of bullets, which allows you to reroll. Yeah. And she's going to actually let Amy keep the crowbar. Okay. Um, and she's going to put the Molotov, put the Molotov in her hand. there to be used. Okay. 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 So that's action number one. Yep. Action number two is moving here. Yep. And, um, action number three is the Molotov. Awesome. So. Okay. There. Yep. And, and that makes, that makes noise. One, two, three. How many are there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So that puts her in the orange. Okay. So she can, what is born leader? Born leader. So she can choose between yes, so they see, yeah. plus one free ranged action or born leader, which clearly she's the queen. Like Yeah. So... Uh, born leader there is, is okay during the survivor's turn the survivor may give one free action to another survivor to use as they please this action is used immediately then the born leader survivor resumes their that's turn. pretty sweet that's pretty cool i'm gonna I, what do you think i feel like i should go with that sure sure i mean don't you think that's a little bit that's better pretty than cool plus that's, one that's free really ranged good. action that's really good okay well, Man, it's like you can breathe better. Like, I'm not even With joking. Like, gone, it feels like... Yeah. You do get the sense that it's like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's clear now. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay. Do I have any actions left for the queen or no? Um. So she what? She moved out. She traded. Mm -hmm. She moved. She threw the Molotov. Yeah. So she gets one more, right? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? I think so. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if she should move or just stick to where she is. Yeah. I feel like, so she's not going to like, like if she were to move here, Amy's going to be moving with her. So yeah. she's good because yeah. we need okay. to keep advancing. Yeah, to, yeah, right. All right. So now we have Amy. Okay. One. That's her free action. Should I just do? One, two, three, and help him out when needed. Could do that. Or, like, is there a chance that, like, these are going to, like, come The only out? way that they would be able to is if, like, because they're going to activate so they're going to move. If they get mm -hmm. one, like, an extra activation, they're just going to be able to move again. So they might, you know, swarm her. I don't know how common the extra activation it are. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry. Can I look at this unborn leader thing again? I just want to make yeah. sure like I know when I can use it. It just it's uh, one of her actions. She gives a free action to somebody else and they can use that immediately. And then uh, she'll resume her turn. Oh, so it has to be during her turn. Yeah, she's giving one of Wait, her. Actions so could I have used that like before my turn was up? Uh, you might have been able to. Does it say one free action? So like it says during the survivor's turn, the survivor may give one free action to another survivor to use as they please. May give. So does she this give action one is of her used turns? Imme in immediately now? Okay, cool. Then so yeah, maybe... should I have gone back to, if I was able to use that when like yeah, I earned it, Lizzie. then maybe I Lizzie should up. um well hold on. What about one of, could one of your survivors benefit from uh, I see what you're saying. Um, an action or no? Not these guys. Um, Sean Connery. Mm, I don't know. Probably not. Probably I not. I think he's good right there. All right. So then if it's okay with you, then I'm just going to, yeah, I'll move Lizzie. Okay. And then, right. okay. So now I'll move Amy. Okay. And we only allowed that because it's our first time playing, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. okay. 
Um, so do you want me, so now, you know, the queen has a reinforcement, so now free action. One, two, three. Yeah, so I'm gonna need some, to yeah, I'm gonna need some help up there. Okay, right. cool. And that was it? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so. So now the spawning, right? Uh, the attack, like the activation, oh, yeah, right? Okay. Um, so let's just start with is this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So one will split to go here, one will split to go here, here. These guys will go here. Um, these guys will go here. Uh, these guys have me in sight, so they're going to go here. These guys are going to go here. And these guys, I think this guy's in here. These guys are going to go here. Runners, they have you in sight. So they're going to go here. And now the extra activation from the runners, they're going to go here. Runners are going to go here. Just fine. And then the runners are going to go here. And I have I have movement with these guys yet. So one, two, three. One, two, three. You know, it was all looking so promising. Yeah. Till this moment. That's all right. Um, so let's. So we're tied. Do you want to have them go up this way? Right. Wait, wait. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. So they're actually going to go here because they would go to the most noise. Actually, one, two. So they're actually still going to go into this room because it. This has the most noise with three. Okay. And this is the shortest distance to that. Okay, cool. All right. So healing. Do you need to do any healing? No. Oh well, they got to spawn anyway, right? <clears throat> so number one, spawn. Three fatties. Okay. Okay, over here, fatty rush. So three fatties and then they activate. <clears throat> and they're gonna activate, so they're just gonna move up. And then the last spot here, we have walker rush, spawn, then activate eight walkers. Jesus. Spawn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they activate. They have you in sight, so they're going to go here. Okay, that's that. Now this passes to you. It is your turn. Noise gets removed. All right, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to be able to take these guys out and then run up here, right? I'm going to be able to do that. So, all right. So Amy's going to wait. Did those guys up there move? No, those guys in here, they didn't move. They, did they? No, they didn't. They didn't move. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay. So. I'm thinking that I should just move the queen and Lizzie in that direction. I think that that might be a good idea. Now, with the solid off shotgun, if I miss, could that hit where my you, allies? Where are you aiming? Like if I were to move. Yes, it would. It okay. Would hit. Yep. All right. All so, so what do you think I should do? Should I, with Amy, just try to hit those three zombies with the pistol, like do the double shot pistol and just see where that gets me and go from there. Yeah, I mean, that's, that'd be fine. I mean, uh, if, old Sean Blue Rob Connery has three wounds, right? So. He has three wounds? Not three wounds. He has three, he has health. max health. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if you miss both with the pistols. Now yeah. you can, you can re-roll all attacks. So let's pretend you get two misses. Okay. Right. right. Well, and also Lizzie has field medic, so she doesn't right. have to wait. Like the queen has to wait. Right. So if I injure 
um, robbery, I, uh, I can bring Lizzie in and yep. she can heal him. Yep. Okay. You're right. So You're right. I'll, so with Amy, I'll do the pistol. So, oh, so it's just two then. Two dice. Uh, then, yes. Yep. yep. Three plus needed. So I got. So you got two hits. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I killed two of uh, these two runners. Of nice. Go up All two. Right, so now she is in the yellow, so she gets an additional action. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll just do that again. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, cool. Yep. What? There we go. No, you're good. You're good. You got two hits. Okay. Cool. Perfect. All right. So that was two actions. So she still has two actions left plus one free move action. You're right. So I think I'll do the one free move action. Okay. Where are you going? Um, one. F Up I here. I could do it. Yeah. Yeah, because we're gonna. Are we? Are we deciding to try to get that token there? Yeah. Okay. So then, um, she's just going to shoot her pistol. Okay. In there. Yep. Twice. Two hits. Cool. That right. was, that was, she hit every single one. All right, so nice. she's gonna do it one more time. Oh, she can do it one more time? She has four actions and one free move action. Oh, I see, I see. Unless okay. I'm counting wrong. Oh, uh, so you attacked, then you attacked again, mm -hmm. right? Free movement, so you had two left and you just attacked, mm -hmm. right? Yep, you're good. And I only got one. One hit. Oh, and I can re-roll. Let me re-roll. So, did we determine if you could? It you says have the new result takes the place of the previous one. So, did we determine you have to re-roll both of them? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's like general dice rolling. That's rules. general dice rolling rule. Okay. Yeah, unless it specifies that you can select. Okay. All right. So, same result. Yeah, same result. So that's still fun. Off one. Yeah, that's still good. All right. Cool. So we're in slightly better shape than we yeah, were before. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, um... And don't forget with Lizzie's field okay. medic, she can move for one action. Right. Two to just spots apply it. And right, right, do right. the healing. That's right. So okay. that's, that's a better way to move. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to do Lizzie yeah. next. Okay. So, um... She has plus one action. So she's gonna move one, two, three. And then um, she is going to do the um, sawed off weapon. So she's gonna roll four. Dice. So so this is this is what I was saying. So you could just use the field medic to just go boom, two spots for one action instead of doing two actions for movement does that make sense you know what i mean like the field medic it says and here it says the survivor can use this skill once during each of their turns the survivor spends one action they move up to two zones to a zone containing at least one survivor so for one action you can move two zones Field medic may be used even if I all see. survivors have So it's have just no a shortcut. Wounds. Yeah, you're saving one action. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. All so right. you did one action for field medic okay. to here, then one action to go there, so you have two left. Okay. Cool? Thank you. Yes. It's very right. helpful. So then you're rolling four. Love a good loophole. A good loophole. Where is the Trump uh, zombie character when you need it for the loophole? I know, he's on there. Alrighty, you so, hit all um, of them, right? That's amazing. Yeah, all four yeah. hit. I made noise, though. That's fine. Did you, and, and you I made, made noise, noise with, with Amy as well. So you actually did it here twice <sighs> with Amy. No, no, no. Yeah, with Amy. Oh, there. Yeah. And she... then Amy, did Amy kill anybody from here? Yes, I okay. think so, yeah. And then you shot with the shotguns there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Oh, and they're all dead. Four, yeah. So you yeah. Up four. Okay, cool. 
awesome. Wow. You're really clearing them out, I'm telling you. Um, what do you think? For my last action, should I just go toward the exit? Should I get myself in that exit zone? Or should I just stay I'd there? i probably hang there because we, we got to okay. make sure we're all... Yep, kinda, I'll just stay there. Especially with the field medic being yeah. able to heal, right? Okay, so... Um, So she'll just stay there then and okay. not use okay. another action. Um, unless, no, there's no point in her going into a building, right? Because right. she just has to get out yeah, of the Yeah, I, I would not. Okay, so now the queen. Her royal majesty. Oh, yeah, and I can, the queen can grant yes. someone. Yep. So why don't I have what's-his-face move one? Who? Sean Connery. Sean Connery. So he's going to move up there with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, or that, or have one of these guys attack, do a free attack. Does it have to be? Does it have to be within like the same zone or anything? I don't think so. I think it just said any survivor. Uh, during the survivor's turn, the survivor may give one free action to another survivor to use as they please. Yep. All right. So yeah, that's a good idea. So let's what, for do the that. Attack? Mm -hmm. Um, so the best weapon for this job Wait, is... sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Are you going to be able to get in, grab that, and get out during what, your there? turn? Yeah. No. Maybe you should Going do that. To, oh, to do a move? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's because that then is one... you can pop in, grab it, and pop out, and then that's we're true. all out. That's true. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. just it's okay. just a suggestion. Sure. All right. Got it. Because then also, like, she can always pop over and heal you. Yeah, like, that's if, true. If... She these guys might need it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. If it's her turn, but okay. anyway. Cool. Um. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just trying to think because these guys are going to need to get some good rolls in order to just boom, boom. I think they can do it, though. Yeah, I have I have confidence. Okay, no pressure. And that way, we're, that way we're still this close. <laughs> There's, we're this close. Yeah, right. Uh, so if need be, maybe they can come down and start assisting. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. All right, so that was one action, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. So she is so... Okay. She has three more, right? One, two, two, three. Three. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, that's it? That's it. Okay. So close, yet um, so Let's far. just get this out of the way then. Let's just use Sean Connery, right? Yeah. Sean Connery. So for one, and he has four actions. That's one, two, to take this. So I go up five. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. For my third action, I'm going to use the shotgun into that room, okay? And that'll still allow me to come out, even if I miss or whatever. So I'm rolling two dice. I hit on four or greater. So I hit one. So he goes up in AP, noise token, and... Now leave. Now I leave. So I come out here. Okay, so that's Sean Connor. So we have all the objective tokens that we need mm -hmm. and all of the food. So yes. we just have to get out. Get the F out. Right. Bro. All right. So let's just start <laughs> with. Um, let's start with Ned here. Ned's going to use the Kukri. Or should I switch putting that sniper rifle in? You know what? I would not. I would try to use what yeah, you have so you don't try. take that. Yeah. I'm going to just try to hit him. So uh, I'm going to use the Kukri. <laughs> I hit on four or greater. Um, two dice. Okay. Crap. All right. So he does get three actions. Come on, baby. All right, so one. Uh, uh. Hmm. 
How many actions do you have left? I have two. I have two actions mm. left. All right, we're just going to do it again. Okay. Okay, he has one left. All you can do is do it again, right? That's the, all you can do. Yeah, the, yeah <clears throat> I know. Ooh. They're going to all come in here next time. All right, so I got two hits. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, did the uptick get you anything? No. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so that's... That's him. Okay. What's the... Can the RPG-7 do anything for um, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm thinking about right now. But you have to rearrange. Yeah. So... Oh, Liam Neeson. Oh, Liam Neeson. <sighs> these guys, to me, are a bigger threat than these guys because, at least with these guys, they're closer if you <clears throat> need to come back. Um, however... I mean, should I just start blasting in here with the shotgun? Maybe for a time or two? You know what I mean? So let me ask you this. Yeah. What if you left here and made noise? Would that like get them to this go out that in, door? It's in sight. This room okay, is in so sight. Okay, so you can't like distract. Right. At all. So I have a few options. I could shoot an RPG into this room trying to kill the uh, the uh, abomination. I could try to just blast a few shotgun shells in here trying to <clears> hit <throat> um Oh, but this abomination takes it. That's his special. So I can't... Because normally, if there's an abomination and a fatty, you can choose whichever takes priority, right? Mm -hmm. Um so the thing is, this guy says he has to take priority. So I would have to use the RPG against him. I can't just blast shotgun shells in here. And if I hit twos, you know, so. Oy. I mean, do I do it? I would use one action to rearrange. Shoot it or two, and I'd have two actions left. Yes. Yeah, I think I think you're right. All right, so I'm gonna rearrange here. It's too bad you can't just like leave one. Can't you just leave one team member behind? I mean, like there is like ultimately in every group of individuals, there is one person that like we all agree that like, could just be left behind. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And that person is uh, who? Ned? It's whoever it needs to be <laughs> for the greater good. All you right. know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. All right, so I put the RPG in hand. All right. <clears throat> I don't know who you are. I have a particular set of skills. Here we go. All right, this is for the abomination. So I used one action to rearrange. I could try to reload the RPG and fire it again. Like, okay. That is possible. All right, so here we go. Hitting on three or greater. Yes! Okay, the abomination is dead. Oh, yeah. So I go up five. One, two, three, four, five. Skills that make me a nightmare for zombies like you. So that was him. That was awesome. So I, did, I went up five AP. Okay. Now the RPG is spent. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what did you say about reloading? I'd have to reload the RPG. So you okay. can't just keep on shooting it. You got to like spend so an does action that... to reload. Okay, so yeah. how many actions do you have left? I have two. I have two actions left. And so what's the potential damage you could... I think you have to do that. What, reload it? Yeah. The problem is I could only take out one more fatty. I only take out one fatty. Like I'd, I'd almost be better trading again, getting the shotgun Wait, back. How many actions do you have? I have two. Getting okay. the shotgun back and then potentially taking out two fatties. Okay. 
I'm just going to do that. And then also I'm going to old Ned here is going to put the, should I put the ax in hand? No, no I'm going to put the pistol in hand. Okay. So let's do the shotgun. Shotgun is rolling two dice hitting on four or greater. I'm shooting into this room here. And that's a bust. That's a bust. And that well, is, at uh, least like they're still together. All right. That's, so uh, is that your it. turn? That's it. Okay. Crap. Okay. <clears throat> now the zombies go right. Yeah. Uh, no zombies are within uh, are in the same zone, so we're gonna move. So we'll just start here, moving. moving. So do they only attack when they're in the same zone, or yes. if they like have the second? Like action or they whatever. could they could attack if if like the runners it, yeah, like if they were they one do, away they and they move twice. in yep yep absolutely so the most noise they can't see here so the most noise is up there so these guys are gonna go up here up here uh, here here here, here, these guys already moved. Now we just need to find, those guys just moved down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now we just need to, or the runners, the runners will activate again. Okay, so that's what we're looking like. Okay. Okay. Now. Wait, did these guys move? Yes, they moved from here. Now let's do um, spawn, number one. Fatty Rush. So two fatties. And then they activate. So they're going to move here. So five fatties there. Over here. Five walkers. Okay. All right. Five walkers. Oh, and then they activate, so they're gonna Can move. I just say, I feel like I am in this scenario where like, I was like, you gotta get out now, you gotta get out now, and you were like, Four runners. no, no. I think like, I wanna do this and that, and now you're like kind of stuck and screwed and all the zombies are just no, like- No, we got this. On Liam you. Neeson but and Ned- just, Don't you feel like you're like in that scenario right now? I feel like, and I'm like, dude, why didn't you just listen to me, no. man? Like, Liam no, Neeson and Ned, we got this. Okay. We got this. Right. Uh, okay, so that was them. Uh, noise tokens. Yeah, I mean, do we have RPGs, nail bats between us? Yeah, I know. Rifles? I'm just saying, like, I just, this just the feeling. Like, I just feel like I'm in it now. Because, like, I just. Trust me, I hear, I hear you, but. Two of you are behind. We're just playing around, you know, blasting some zombies, having a good time before we gotta leave. That's all. Exactly. Leave this earth. Leave this earth. <laughs> okay, so now it is. Uh, your turn. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have to start swinging, huh? Yeah, I would try to kill them and then like run away. Yeah, yeah, I know. Maybe even to out here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Run yeah. this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start with uh, let's start with Ned. Yeah, let's just start with Ned. So two dice for the kukri. Uh, hitting on four or greater, they do two damage per hit. My goodness. Okay, it's going again. It's more Come like on. the fuckery. All right, let's go again. Come. Oh my god! On, Wait, didn't dude. you say two or greater? Four or greater. Sorry. No, I probably just like was wishful thinking. Oh my this goodness! This is really horrible. His whole. Ned's on a suicide mission. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. That may have just lost us the game. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, let's just do uh let's do Seth. Alright, so the nail bat, the nail bat's pretty good. So nail bat's rolling two dice again, hitting on three or better. Okay, so one. Okay. And uh Old, uh, I, what did I say, Seth? 
How dare I? Liam Neeson. All right, so two hits here, okay? So both of these guys are dead. And what's cool about that is that actually puts him, oh, he's one away from orange, which would let him do a, a plus one free melee action. So that was what? One, two? That was two, right? Because he hit one I fatty. Have no idea. He hit one fatty with uh, the first one, and then he hit two with the second attack. So I get two more attacks left. So we're going to do that again. All right, so we got one. And that goes up here okay so i am gonna choose <clears throat> should i do a free melee action or steady hand steady hand means my misses don't hit friendlies free melee free melee i think you're right so i am gonna use that free melee <clears throat> i did three attacks which would allow me with i have one more action left but now since i chose a plus one free melee mm -hmm. action this is going to be that free melee so i hit him Right, so uh, I go up one more, and now I can move. Do I want to move? Yes, you have to book it. I, and then I need you with the queen maybe to come he move. What's his face here with me? Yeah. All right, Liam Neeson is moving. He's gonna hide in the corner. All right, that's my. Oh no, I have uh, Sean Connery. Just move him to the exit. Well, should I just start blasting into that? Sure. Room? Yeah, just start blasting. Yeah. So he's Wait, home. may I ask a question? Yeah. All right, so once we get to the exit tile, do we have to spend another action to actually No, exit? just as long as we okay. end our turn. So I'm just going to start blasting into that room yeah, with a shotgun. We can't, we can't, um, yeah, because we can't exit up there. Yeah. yeah. So two dice, four greater. Okay, two hits. Very nice. Going up two. He's at 17 AP. And we're going to just shoot again. Two more hits. There we go. And Sean is really rocking this. Where are... Wait, did you cause any noise when you were doing all your stuff? Oh, yeah, here. And where are these going to go in their next movement? Uh, wherever the most noise is because they can't see anybody right now. So, all right. So okay. I fired two shotguns here. So hopefully they'll go in that And direction. I use the nail bat and the kukri. Those don't cause, they don't, they don't, they don't yeah, no noise. Okay. Um, so I'm going to shoot one more time. And this is my third. So I hit one more. Hold on. Do you want to, instead of, never mind. I was going to say, do you want to move instead? Uh, no. No, I do not. Okay. Um, so I have one more action, but I leveled up. And I have plus one free ranged action, okay? And, and for what, my I'm orange. sorry, what's steady hand again? Steady hand means if I shoot into... Oh, it doesn't hurt other... It doesn't hurt friends. Allies. So I'm going to okay. use my free ranged, and I missed. So I have one more action. I could just shoot him now. I think that's best. You don't want to... Yeah, but you we're... want to move? I actually, I actually don't, because... What if, what if these guys need help, right? And I don't want to be all the way up there. Yeah, I'm but I have three there. I know, I know. I'm just going to shoot him. Okay. All right, so I kill him. Okay. All right, so so we don't have to worry about those guys. All right, so that is... Uh, did you cause more noise? Yes, I did. All right, that's good, because hopefully they'll all be going yeah. that way, and then you can... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, it's your turn. All right. <laughs> so, I guess one option I have would be for Lizzie to come heal you. That would bring her all the way back here. I don't know if that's the best option. I, oof. so if she went like one, two, three, and oh, then wait, used the she can only go, four. okay, never mind. I don't want to do <clears throat> that. So um, I guess I'll use the queen. I'll do the queen first because yeah. And that way they can't see me now. <laughs> Right. Okay. So now it's my turn again. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to move mine to the exit. The queen? Yeah. Okay. All mine. Oh, all of them. Okay. Yeah, because if you are counting on me to come help you, I need to start moving, you know, back. But for yeah, right so, now, I just want to like, because right. especially Amy, like she has one free 
action move. I get what you're saying. The only the only <clears throat> thing that I'm saying is I am. This is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna book it up here, right? Okay. Now the the thing is, these guys are gonna move to here. Mm -hmm. These guys are gonna move to here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so I either have to go through these guys or through those guys. Well, can't you just go through here? Yeah, but the, then these guys are gonna move here. So then I I'll just be running into I them. I see. So I almost need maybe some help you right here help. just like brrr, mowing people down yeah. this is okay can i just explain this is like when people want to like stay in their houses when there's like a huge hurricane coming and then they screw it up for everybody else who got out in time oh really because then they have to come back and rescue oh i see, I see. the numbskulls i see all right so numbskull rescue mission numbskull right we got we did some things over mm. here <laughs> Okay. Got some objectives, found the food. So chainsaw. Chainsaw. Yeah, how how's that chainsaw been for you? It's I gotta get into a I gotta get into a group. Uh but yeah, I am excited to use it. You know what? Fine. <laughs> just run into that group and I'm just gonna stay right. where I am. Right. Okay, so let me look at my options here. So then I guess I should just step in. So let's free act. Okay, if I do one free action, that's one action, then shoot in, and then move back. So I'm thinking I'll take Amy in for um, her free move action, and then one more action and start shooting into those. Okay, so take Amy down for a free move. Yeah. And they're going to move one here. Yeah. Okay. No, I just want to like talk this out. I'm not like committing yeah, to okay. this. Okay. All right. Okay. That's my thought. So that's one action so far and she yeah. gets four actions. Yeah. Um, so then I'm thinking she'll just do her pistol into there. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yep. All right. So right now you have so three left, much, right? You have three left and yeah. you're using a, an attack. All right. And you get the reroll. Right. Okay. So you hit one, right? Yeah, I hit one. And you want to hit the runner. The runners are the worst ones, right? Okay. Because they do two activations. Oh, wait, wait, right, wait, wait, so wait, I wait, killed wait, one, wait, right? Wait, wait, I got to figure out. I forgot their priority. Are the runners and the walkers the same? Here. Uh, walkers first. Okay. So walkers. Well, but I, I still killed one, right? Yep, absolutely. But then I made noise. Okay. Okay. So, and you have two actions left, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll shoot one more time and then I'll move back. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, now you you do hit, so you hit two I times. Hit two. Okay. So there are two walkers are removed. All right. So All I right, made cool. noise. And you made noise again. Okay. Um. Okay. And then you want to move back. Did I already use my queen? You, I thought you did. Yeah, you did. For that. Yeah. And that was this turn? Yeah, I got it. But then she uh, didn't do anything. No, it you? wasn't. It wasn't this turn. Or yeah. did I just not finish the turn? Did I yeah, not finish what? her turn? I know you moved her out there. Yeah, I think I don't think you finished the turn. Crap, okay. Wait, did you? No. Fuck, I like... Totally screwed up then. Um, no, you didn't. Oh well, I guess I'll just forego like the rest of her turn then. Um, all right. So for my last move, I'm gonna move back. Okay. And then um, Lizzie. Yep. So she also has four action. Okay. Same thing, maybe. Yeah, she'll okay. only be able to do, do it once. Do it once. So yeah. she's moving one. Mm -hmm. This is a second action mm -hmm. and shooting for the third action. Oh, shit. I should have... Well, no, I shouldn't have left Amy there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're rolling four dice. Yes. And you're hitting on threes or greater. So three hits. Three hits. Three hits. All right. So three more walkers. Okay. I mean, I'm hoping that like helps. I don't even know. Yeah. All right, so move I'm back, move back and she creates yeah. noise. Okay, and then the oh, queen. I think the queen. So, I was just gonna move her to the exit. 
but I guess not because might just, she might want to heal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She'll just hang out there. Right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now the zombies go right. Mm-hmm. All right. So, okay. Let's just start with these guys. Move. 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 Wait. I'm sorry. Are you sure? Because next up, it's going to be my turn first. Yeah. So that's usually okay. how it works, right? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that, like, I did actually use the queen that turn and yeah. for your guy. Yep. So okay. these guys don't see my guys, so they're going to go after noise. So they're going to go this way. These guys don't see me either, so they're going to go after that's the noise. That's perfect. Then you can go. Oh, so yeah. I have to just attack those with. Right. Well, Shawnee Rob. Well, now the runners activate us another time. Uh, oh, okay. Now we do spawning. Spawn here. Extra activation, all fatties. All right, so. <laughs> all fatties. Okay. <clears throat> Next one for over here. Um, four walkers. Okay. Four walkers. Oh, that walk. Oh, we're almost like carrying each other. All right. And then the last one for down here walker rush, spawn and activate seven walkers. So it's four. Five, six, seven, and then they activate. So they're going to move up here. Okay. That's that. Noise is removed. Okay. And it's going to be your turn. Okay. <clears throat> All right, cool. I think that's that. Okay. So how many fatties are in there? Three? This is going to be an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Yeah. And wait a second. No matter what the zombie is, it just costs one action to move per zombie. Yes. All right. So it's not going to work. Okay. Yeah. The shotguns aren't going to do anything. Um, no, I'm just going to have to risk misses at this point. So. Um, with what? With pistols and yeah, but the, shotgun. The fatties take priority. So you can't. Oh, so they'll absorb all of it. Absorb. So I'm going to have to. Amy is going to have to rearrange. Oh, right, right. And have a machete. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And then the queen is going to have to come in as well and use. No, because that's one. Yeah. Shit. What is um what does Rob have? Yeah, I mean I have some good stuff here. Uh shotgun. Wait, okay, so can I can the queen can you give me your shotgun? Or can you oh, do it? You have to yeah. be on the same spot for a trade. But I'm on your spot. The queen is with you. Oh Rob, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, what do you want? You want the chainsaw? No, I want the shotgun because I'm not with the zombies. Okay. All right. So, uh, which shotgun do you want? This one? This no, this better. one, because I will, I have to have one, two or oh, that's damage right. Sorry, for the fatties. I, sorry. I forgot about the, that only does one damage. Yes. Yeah, so I need off. your actual shotgun. All right. So you, let's do a trade rearrange. So you, you this is going to the queen. Yeah. So right. you just give me this and I'm not going to give you anything. And I'm actually going to move, uh, <laughs> saw <laughs> chainsaw there. And do I do... Hold up. Yeah. Sorry. For the Zatenfluten, um, yeah. should I take that as well, use a shotgun, and then go in and use that? Take it. Take it, because I'm going to use this. I'm going to put the salt off in here. Um, yeah. All right. So for my first action was trading, correct? Yes. All right, second action is shotgun. Okay. Now you could potentially hit your people. You know that, right? 
Yes. Okay. But I have no choice. Gotta take the risk. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're shooting the shotgun. Hit hits on four or better. Two misses. So how do you want to take? Um, one each. One each. Okay. All right. This is a pickle. All right, I'm gonna have to do it again. All right. I mean, there's really no choice at this point, right? Might be right. All right, two hits, two hits. Two fatties gone. There's still a freaking fatty left. Two fatties gone. So she goes up two. Hmm. Was that all my actions? So you did a trade and you did uh, two shots, right? Yeah. Yeah. All yep, right, so, so for my more. third action. Fourth action. Sorry, fourth action. Yep. So. I would. I can either have somebody else do an action. Oh, right, right, right. Or I can do another shotgun. Thinking. So what do you think? Do you want me to like have one of, like, what are you? What are your guys, what are their movements? Like, how do they move? Like, uh, do any of them have like- Just regular, regular movement. Regular. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing really that I can, that they could do right now. You have the best weapon within range. Cause I took, I took yours. Yeah. So I basically, I oh, shot. So you gun. might, you might also want to think about going into that spot because- But once I'm in there, I can't do anything. Yeah, but if they're, but if they attack, It'd be better to have three people in there to absorb hit than and it would be the two. And then they'd all heal. All right. So this is the thing. I can okay. either risk the shotgun. Oh, I created noise, by the way. Okay. I guess twice. Yeah. So I can either risk it, the shotgun, or I can go in there i'd say to move in for the healing and another survivor to absorb hits because if yeah, you but leave it Lizzie like this, can heal yeah but so if you do if you do that you have four guys right now that are going to be hitting you so uh if you each take two hits right now you're both dead okay you know what i mean okay. so the queen is at full hp and she'll heal them as well at the end okay I just think that might be a little bit better. Sure. Lizzie can heal, that's true, but you don't want to risk it all on that. Sure. Okay. Um, so Amy is going to rearrange. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you think I should do crowbar as well? Um, or should I do no, there's nothing yes. to Or should I should I should I do a trade with take her baseball bat? Well, the thing is, you don't have to like, even if you have the crowbar here, you can still this. just keep using the machete. Yeah, you could do that. All right, sorry. So originally it was this. Yep. Yep. So I can either just rearrange my own stuff or I can say, I'm going to trade and do a trade. For the Zanta like, two, so you can... do you think that it's worth it to try to hang on to these two pistols at this point or no? Not at this point because I think there's too many fatties, right, okay. that are yeah. about to come up. All right, so, no, because this... Why would you... I what would is the benefit machete. of this? The five? Yeah, you get to roll five, so you could, like, like okay. slice through... So, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to do a trade. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. That. That's okay. good. All right, so that's one. Yeah, that's one. Okay, so uh, for my second action, I'm going to um, use the machete. Okay, so one die. That's yeah, now one die. God. Three or greater. Come on, baby. Yeah, okay, six. Okay, good. All right, so the fatty is dead. So that's huge. So that's exciting. Huge. That's huge. Literally. All right, huge so. Huge fatty. Huge fatty. Okay. <laughs> so three so, more guys there three more runners and you have two more actions right you did a trade so then i want to do machete. this yes okay. probably you're rolling five dice hitting on four yeah 
Got it. Watch it. This is this is one of those times where like I have an epic. You got this. You got this. All right. So this is a four. So you hit so three times. Three. Yeah. Yep. You hit three <clears throat> times. Cool. All of these guys are dead. Boom. Bada bing. And then I. Okay. So now I can choose either one. Free, free melee, melee action. action or one free ranged action. Yeah. Mm. So you just gave right up the now, pistol. You got a bunch of melee weapons, right? Yeah. So, so when it says one free, it's like you have to have the arsenal in order to use it, right? You have to have the the, the weapon, like the weapon, weapon the yeah. weaponals, the weaponals. Yeah. For the arsenals. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Correct. So then I should choose the melee. It's up to you. Uh, it, to me, that because makes I only sense. have one pistol, so like, what are the odds? The pistols aren't that? really doing anything right now. All right, right, so I'll just do a free melee. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. <laughs> okay. And then uh, Lizzie's I'm not so turn, confident right? about that, but is it Lizzie's yeah, turn? Yeah, it's uh, it's Lizzie's turn. Okay, probably definitely medic, right? Mm -hmm. Field medic. Should hmm. she? She should probably trade with the queen. So she can shoot a shotgun into those fatties. That's a good idea. Right? Yeah. Don't yeah. you think? Yep. Yep. All right. So Lizzie Trading has the queen. So that's one. Okay. Nice. Okay. So the so Lizzie got a shotgun that can deal two damage, giving the queen a sawed off. Okay. okay. All right. All right, so we're shooting the shotgun, I guess, at this location here. Yes. Is that right? Uh, two dice, four or greater. All right. I'm going to try it one more time. All right. All right, so that's a two. One. Yep, so one hit. All right. All right, so that was kind of a waste. So um, as it goes up on the AP. Okay, and then for my last action, I'm going to do the field medic. I'm going to stay okay. where I am. That's allowed, right? Yep. And she's going to heal herself, and she's going to heal Amy. Okay. That's allowed, right? Is it is it just one? It might just just be one. Oh, I thought it was like them herself. Uh, I guess it makes more sense to just be one. Does but... a field medic survivor can use this skill once during each of their turns? Spends one action, they move up to two zones, uh, to a zone. Then they may heal one wound from any survivor in the destination, including themselves. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Um. Do you think that might mean like they can go up to another survivor and just heal themselves or also themselves? No, they can heal themselves and the okay. other survivor. Okay. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. So let's have, hmm. Let's have old. Hold on. Yeah. One, two, three. Like, I think you just need to. Yeah. You have to. I just don't want to get trapped by those guys. Like if I still you come over still... here, up here, and then just still start working on these guys, maybe? No? No. You... Disagree? Okay, so how many actions and movements do you have? Four. Four. And and, you have four. Uh, four? and Liam Neeson gets a free melee. One, two, three, and then you can't move out of there, right? I could do a free melee, and then if yeah. I miss, though, if I miss, I'm stuck there, and now all these guys come in. But they're not going to attack you. That's true. That's true. And then you have everybody there. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's do that, then. All right, so let's get... Uh, like, you just got to get out of here. <laughs> let's get... Yeah, let's get um, Liam Neeson. I will find him. Don't try Two, to be a hero. Three, and he gets a free melee action. So he, and he gets so four his, actions. It, wait, is his melee? He's using the nail bat. And so that rolls two, two dice, okay. three or greater. And two can, damage? Yep. Okay. Two dice, three or greater. Two sixes. So both of Amazing. these guys are dead. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. All right. So now he gets one more action. He's going to go here. Now we have old Ned boy. So Ned is going to... And what's great is anyone who's with the queen at the end like of this gets healed. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, go on. All right. So Ned's going to go one, two. Ned has a free search. No. Because that could pop. No, just go. <laughs> Andrew, have you learned nothing? Oh, my God. Andrew. 
thinking about free search. <laughs> Can you imagine two nail mats though running around? I'm All just right. saying, like, I Three, know who I'm going to align myself with Three, during four. a zombie right. apocalypse. There we go. There we go. Be you. All right. There we go. Okay. 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 Now, um, so I am going to, with Sean. You know what? I'm just going to, like, back up and try to kill these fatties because it'll be fun. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about it. I know. Oh, I just saw that sawed off shotgun has a reload okay well guys if we if we did keep firing some of those sawed off shotguns uh i apologize i definitely missed that uh oh, instead wait. of reloading it spending an action to reload and then fire oh. again i don't know i don't know po probably uh, probably happen Let's just go again. no wonder it got so much easier <laughs> um all right so I'm sorry, he is going to come back here. Why? But just let him wants... go through the finish line. He wants to. In all of his Sean Connery glory. But he wants to shoot a zombie one more time. Andrew, come on, He's just get him go out. Here. No, are you serious? He just wants to. Oh, no, he can't anyway. With Andrew, the what are you doing? Will you just chill? Just get him out of here. All right. Sean Connery instead is actually just going to go to the exit. Yeah, because he, I mean, he is at full HP. He does have a chainsaw. You know what? He's going to wait. He's going to wait with his, with his buds. Because if they come in, the chainsaw is going to roll five dice, right? And that could be really cool. So Sean Connery is just going to go right there. And he is just going to hang there. Okay? So that's all. All right. That's my turn. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I guess the zombies are going They're to advance and then in. we have to do stuff They're to... They're still going right. to come in. Right. So I will admit that I was wrong. No, no. Was Everyone just take note. It doesn't happen often. It was good. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Last that was time for I your was benefit. wrong was 1963. All right. So actually... <laughs> so, so, okay. The zombies are going to go, right? So these guys... Well, let's just start with these guys. They're Hold gonna up. Move up. Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. You good? Yeah. Wait, the the medic didn't happen yet, right? Is that what you were? I was gonna say the queen's healing, but that happens after. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So these guys will move up. These oh guys. Oh my god, we were up. like so freaking close. Oh, we got this now. And these guys move. Yeah, I'm not even worried anymore. These guys move. And these guys move. And then the runners will activate again you so can still here. use your chainsaw probably yeah maybe okay now we do spawning we're gonna spawn here unless you want to give it to me extra activation all runners <sighs> one extra activation Where so are the runners? so that is just going to be one activation right i don't think they reactivate both yeah, because each they get two activations, and then now they just get an extra activation. Okay, so they're gonna go there. Uh, what this is, is somebody over here. carrying like a satellite? What? Where is this? Yeah. Oh, he's in a casket. Oh. Yeah, he's in a casket. Um, so there's gonna be five walkers over here. Okay. Five walkers over here. All right. They're a little late to the party. Yeah, they are. And then uh, last one here is an abomination. Okay, so abomination. The next one is abominable wild. Molotov effects in the abominable abominable wild zone only kill the abominable wild. Other actors are not affected. Okay. All right, the abominable wild. Abominable wild. Abominable wild. Oh yeah. All right, the bomb in the wild is here, so he's not, he's not a problem. Okay, noise gets removed, <clears throat> and now it is on to my turn, right? Um, I think it's... Chainsawing. Wait. I just ended my activations going up there, right? Yeah, yeah. I yep. just don't know so why it's... you have the token. Well, Whatever. now it's my... All right, well, um, the queen wants to heal. Okay, like, yep, the nobody, queen. I yep. guess only... Liam Neeson. Seth. Liam Neeson. And that's it. Yep. So you go up one AP, right? All right, yeah. And now it is time they all laughed at me when I said about 
the chainsaw. Okay, five dice. <clears throat> Hitting everything here. It's melee. Here we go. Five or greater. All right, so <laughs> one hit. That's still fine. Whatever. All right. I was just kills laughing because I thought it, there was none. I was not laughing right. at you. Was no, no, I got you. I got you. Um, you made noise. I made noise. Just apply it to the action. Yep. Gotcha. Um, okay, so I'm going to do it again. Are those all fatties? Yeah. One more hit. Okay. Okay, here we go. Another time. How good you have that uh, nail done? One, two hits. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So, so now we can just all now I'm make a break for it. Yep. Yep. Now Sean Connor is out. All right. So and the queen can help him get the last. Yes. Move into the yes, exit. So correct, we're golden. Correct. All right. So now. Um, we all just need that. Yep. Should I attack into there? All right. So. Can we just go? All right, so just... one, two, three. Yeah. I just want to shoot one more time into this crowd. All right, two dice, four greater. All right, so I hit, I hit two of these fatties. There we go. All right, and now he's gone. See All right. That was Liam Neeson. And Ned, Ned is gonna do the same. He doesn't wanna feel left out. So he is actually going to, if I rearrange, shoot, two, three. Uh, rearrange, shoot. Yeah. All right. So he is actually going to rearrange, put the RPG in his hand. He's going to go out with a bang, if you know what I mean. And he is going to use the RPG now. He is going to use, um, oh, he can't shoot there. He can shoot here. So he's going to roll five dice and he's going to hit uh, threes or better. One, two. So he kills two of these guys. How exciting. And now he is gone. <clears throat> that created noise. And did Sean Connery create noise? Yeah, he did with all these chainsaws. I think it was two. Might have been two. And then uh, did Liam Neeson do anything? I think he did, right? All right, we'll just put an extra one there just in case. All right, now it is uh, your turn. All right, so Lizzie's going to move to the exit if you wouldn't mind moving okay. her. There we go. Um, Amy is going to move to the exit. Okay. Uh, the queen is going to move one. She's going to move Sean Connery one. Yeah. And then she's going to move. One. And there we go. Yeah. Nice. Oh my God, that feels so amazing. That was awesome. Whew, that was intense. It did feel like for a second there we weren't going to make it, but. Yeah, it's a good uh, thing uh, we yeah. did that OP sawed off action. <laughs> yeah. I mean. God, that is like such a shitty feeling though. When yeah. like you feel so good, like, oh my God, I made it through, yada, yada. And yep. then you realize like maybe you accidentally didn't play it right and made it a little bit easier. Yeah. Unintentionally, well, unknowingly, but we don't know that for sure. That's true. That's true. Well, let's let's switch back to the front facing view and then we can just give a, you know, a little recap, give our final thoughts. All right, guys. So there you have it. One by the skin of our teeth. I mean, it, it kind of, Maybe it wasn't that close, but it did kind of feel like that at the same time, didn't it? I mean, we were kind of getting surrounded there for a second and we kind of... Yeah, I mean, I don't personally have skin on my teeth, but besides that, <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, it was nail biting. It was, it was. To say the least. Yeah, we, I mean, we did make it through. There were a few times, especially when like I had guys down here, it almost didn't feel like we were going to make it out, right? Could have been a better uh, plan of attack, right? But... Uh, went with it, right? It kind of worked out. And uh, I, I think it's cool. I, I like it. Um, one of the things, well, I tell you what, let's start, let's start with you, Lauren. What are some of the things that you liked about the game? Okay, so first of all, visually, the characters, um, I love the creativity that went into creating them. Um, even just the core set of characters, yeah. um, really great. Um, and then... You know, it's really cool that you can add on to that with the different expansions and such. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and 
going along with the whole visual aspect, um, besides just like how the artwork looks really awesome. Um, the board, um, I personally don't have the best eyesight. The board is very clear. It's nice um, and big. Yeah, it's nice and yeah. big, yeah. Um, but not too big. It doesn't take up too much space and um, it's just really easy to see everything. They did a good job balancing the colors and everything. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, I knew that like when I looked at Zombicide, I knew it was going to be like a city aspect, but mm -hmm. uh, the board, I mean, just laying out everything, it is bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's not a bad thing, um, but it, it would take up a lot of table space. But yeah, the artwork on there is, it's awesome. It looks, it looks really cool. Like you yeah. are playing on a city, you know, block. Yeah. 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 And I just love all the little details that they put into each of the characters as well, like in the, yeah. um, on the character cards and everything. Yeah. They look cool. I mean, the sculpts on the minis, they look awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. We played with one, like Lauren played with a character from the core set. I did as well. But then the other characters were just kind of, um, some extras and stuff like that. I mean, just having somebody like the, the uh, her Royal Majesty, like the queen, she's got just like the mini gun. Uh, some of those poses are just super cool. Yeah, um, yeah I, I liked I liked all the guys. Um, I liked how they added some like celebrity, you know, people like you know just having Liam Neeson and uh, yeah. Well, and it was cool. Like they didn't make it obvious. I right. mean, clearly with the presidents they did, right. but like with Lizzie, I mean, she clearly looks like Rebel Wilson. Right, um, her Royal Majesty. Okay, that was it's a little queen. more obvious. It's right. Queen, right. but um, right. like Andrews. Liam Neeson and really? uh, Sean, Con Sean Connery. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so um, and there cool. are other ones that it's like really cool. Like as you're going through the characters, like you're you're like you chuckle to yourself, like oh, like you pick up right. on it. Like that's that seems like it's supposed right. to be so and so. Yeah. Um, one thing though, I would say mm. um, beyond the core pack of characters, like with um, Andrews, Seth, and Rob, aka Liam Neeson and uh, Sean Connery, um, there weren't too obvious. Um, little minis, yeah, right? Yeah, minis yeah, um, yeah. that matched up with them. So he kind of had to improvise and like pick the ones that look closest. But like with mine, you could clearly match all yeah, three of them. I mean, this is a stack <clears throat> of all the characters, at least that came in the, you know, the, the stretch goals for the Kickstarter and stuff like that. Obviously the core is not going to be this much, but with all of these, like there's not as many uh, minis to go along with those characters. Yeah. So there's a lot, there are a lot. But, but yeah, I mean, even still, it's yeah. like there are enough, like you're never going to have that many people playing that like right. it's going to be an issue. So, right. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but it's right. just something that I yeah. noticed. Yeah. Um, I I liked, I got a feeling from playing this kind of like Project Elite, right? Yeah. It was kind of like, but I guess Zombicide, I don't know what came first, Zombicide, because Zombicide has been around for a while. It's had different mm -hmm. versions and stuff like that. And I know Project Elite had a version before the latest printing, uh, which I la which I have and we really like as well. Yeah. Uh, I think we kind of like these these kinds of games, right? It's not it's not complicated, uh, right? You're just drawing zombies, putting them on the board. You have a few actions that you can take: move, attack, uh, find you know items, objectives, do different things. And it's I I like that. I like just the feeling of like okay you know that there's this, this mass group of guys, same with Project Elite, that are coming at you, and you gotta kinda plan around that, right? You gotta make moves, okay, they're probably gonna go here, do I wanna make noise, is this attack gonna do this, right? So it's it's cool. I really like that aspect of it. Um, like I said, it gives me the feeling of Project Elite, which we really like, but it's cool, I, I liked it. Yeah, and I like how it's a co-op game, yeah. um, and you can fully cooperate and talk to each other, unlike a game, uh, like Gloomhaven where right. you are working together, but you have limitations as far as how you can communicate and you can't really, I mean, you can kind of share things, but it's, it's not the same. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like the way that, um, you all work together, um, and interact in this game, like people won't get bored because they're always engaged in what's yeah. going on. Um, which is again, similar to project elite. Yeah. Um, and, but this game, um, compared to Project Elite, it is fast paced, yeah. um, but it's also not the same like rolling the dice sense of urgency yeah, right. that Project Elite has. Yeah, um, it's, it's a lot different in that uh, yeah, type of feel. But it still moves quickly and everything, yeah. and it's exciting. And like 
I personally really felt like, especially when Andrew was like hanging back with these two characters and like I told him to like, get out, get out. And he didn't. And then like, we were all there like waiting for him. Like I really felt like I was in like that zombie situation where it's like, shit, like the people did not get out soon enough. But unfortunately in this game, um, you can't just leave them behind and be like, well, should have done what I right. suggested. And that's, and that's a good point is that, like, even though we were being surrounded, I mean, you can cut, you can see all the zombies on here. I'm sure, like, there's a whole other, uh, the rest of the table is just filled with fatties, walkers, runners, abominations. So, like, you could potentially have even more than this. And one thing I liked was, even though you are getting surrounded and there's this many, if you have some good weapons and maybe you get a few uh, good dice rolls, you can get out of those bad situations, right? It is going to take a little bit of luck, right? There's not that much mitigation to that luck. It's just kind of you roll what you got, right? You, it is what it is. But I do like it. It creates those really cool moments that we even had one or two or a few of them that it's like, oh, you you finally, you nailed the abomination, right? Now you can like dart for the exit like we did or yeah. get through the fatties you know you're just you're taking a chainsaw and just mowing down fatties right yeah. so it creates some cool moments yeah. that i think are really cool yeah and the game it's um challenging but it's not it doesn't feel impossible you might have moments where you feel like this is impossible we're never going to get through it but then you get through it and like it makes it that much more exciting yeah. like once you get through it um so it's a really nice balance of really everything and it's a great game um to like introduce to people who've never played it before or really haven't played many uh board games before because again it's fast paced and it's pretty easy to um, understand yeah and they'll just be intrigued by just like all of the visual elements of it i think yeah 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 the co-op piece is helpful yeah co-op i mean it's it's yeah it i think it's just good fun i mean it was just fun doing some of these things it was fun busting into the the buildings yeah just trying to see okay am i gonna find that food right am i gonna how what zombies are gonna spawn where right right? how am i gonna lure them into this way to then bust out of this door that stuff's just fun right and yeah and it's helpful like you mentioned am i gonna find that food to have like clear mission goals because you know you take a game like scythe for example i mean you were just in the beginning this lone you know what is it uh not tribe but like clan clan sanction i don't know faction faction you're this lone faction and you know you could have you have all these possible goals possible you know things that you could do like it's very complex like this is simple like you still have to figure out your strategy and everything but you have like you know, these main yeah. uh, goals to achieve, which, you know, especially people that don't play very often, having like clear objectives, like helps just give direction. And yeah. Yeah. It's simple. You know, you grab a beer, right? You sit down or grab a brew, uh, <laughs> you know, play the game. You have a good time, right? Try to mow down some zombies, right? Complete the objectives, get to the end. I think it's just, I had fun. Uh, yeah. This was the only game we played of it so far. So again, this is just based on one playthrough. Um, but you can kind of almost get a feeling of, yeah, it's it's going to be a little bit more of the same. But I think if you just have a good group of people or if you just kind of like, because what the game recommends is uh, playing with six characters. So we divided those six into three. You know, we control three each. So I could see you playing solo so you could just maybe control maybe not all six, maybe all six if you wanted to. Um, but it's just a it's just a cool, easy game to sit down, just kind of have a blast with. It's not overly complicated, just blasting away. Um, yeah, and I'm assuming, okay, so we did mission number one. I'm assuming yeah. there are, you know, a number and that's of missions. Miss- that's at easy. So the next one oh. said hard. Okay. Right? So <laughs> I'm just saying that that's what, the, so the difficulty yeah. will ramp up, right? Yeah. There. But, and things can change. I mean, like the board, I mean, I'm assuming the board can change because it's They're broken out into, yeah, it's double-sided. Yep. And yep. Um, so that changes, like there's a slew of characters, like there yep. are these pimp mobiles and police cars yep. that you can incorporate kind of like a GTA, like let's, and it does you know, offer run over different a hooker game kind of modes. a thing. <laughs> yeah, right. It does <laughs> offer zombie. different game modes too. So like, 
I briefly, and I didn't read too much, like there's different things you could do with the dark rooms. The abominations could do different things. Like Lauren said, you have the cars. So there are different uh, variations you can do to kind of keep it fresh, keep their replayability up. Um, but yeah, I think it's cool. One, uh, let's talk about some of the things maybe we didn't like. Um, sure. So one <laughs> thing I didn't like was the, um, the manual was okay. There were just a few things during the game that we had questions about, like the RPG. So the RPG had these two uh, gun symbols on there. I didn't, being a new player, I didn't know if this meant it's two-handed, like you would hold the RPG with two hands, so it takes up both hand slots. Or if you choose one of these, I didn't understand that. And I couldn't find that anywhere in the manual. It didn't say that. Um, and then there was, there was something else that I'm forgetting offhand, um, but that it, it just didn't answer... It was like a question or two. We just didn't know what it meant. And the, I think that it could have been a little bit better in that aspect of like maybe a short little, um, I don't know, what do you want to call it? That just overviews some things that the, maybe the manual didn't cover, like a rules reference guide, something like that. You know, just to go over some things like that. I didn't see that. And we even looked up... Um, online and we didn't see it wasn't an obvious answer so things like that or even like the dice these are custom dice right that they sell for the game and i didn't see anywhere in there about what these faces meant i had a look up online on a random thread on board game geek and i think they were just suggesting that's what they meant right um and it kind of makes sense, a zombie face and the Molotov, which is really good. So that would, the Molotov yeah. would be a six. And that's the sort of thing where it's kind of like house rules. Like you can right. just determine right. for yourself. A absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, but at the same time, I think, I think just to wrap it up, at least for the manual side, for me, there could have been a little bit more in there. There could have been a, maybe a little bit more examples uh, and then clarified some other things. So, yeah. Yeah. And just a side note for the manual, like me personally, I think that for every, everything out there that has the manual, I think it should, um, you know, have a QR code or something that you can scan and just like, so it's searchable electronically because I mean, flipping through a manual, I mean, how, it, you know, I don't know. Um, but aside from that, one thing that I wanted to point out was, um, mm. so these are really cool. These, what would you call these? Uh, just your character trays. Okay, character yeah. tray. Yeah. So um, this is the what is adrenaline, it? Points, adrenaline track. points track. Um, but even like on this one, I don't know if you can see, but um, and we hadn't played this yet, and this um, label was already starting to peel off. And this is a pretty, um, you know, solid uh, piece of plastic that's running along this track. So I just wonder how long this little sticker is going to last if it's already starting to peel off and we hadn't even um, used it yet. So I wonder if they offer, you know, um, replacements on that. Yeah. Just, I don't see that the longevity of that doesn't seem. Uh, well, yeah. And just on the trays, I mean, they, the trays that come with the game, they do feel a little cheap. Um, like they're, they're good for what it does, right? It's simple, right? You're not going to be doing I mean, this is this is a lot of the game, though, right? You're going to be moving this AP track a lot. You're going to yeah. be swapping out things with the pegs. I just think that the quality could have been a little bit better. They just uh, it's a real flimsy plastic. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, I think the <laughs> plastic is fine. Mm. And to I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, like the pegs, like they stick in just like a battleship type yeah, the thing. Pegs like, are cool. They yeah. work really well. Yeah. And then in a lot of games, when they have like things that rotate or slide a lot of times like they can easily get misaligned just like mm. um but these like the good thing about this plastic thing is like it doesn't um move really easily so you right. won't r run the risk of like hitting it and then like you have right. no idea right. what number it was on but at the same time that means like you know it would have been nice if maybe they like incorporated the levels into the plastic and maybe like you know yeah did it that way so that because this is going to get worn down especially because it, it that part is so solid yeah i think my just biggest problem with it it just right here i think this could have just been better like it kind of bends Did a little sound, bit yeah. yeah it's like that part just could have been better um past that everything else seems to be fine um 
The minis are great. They all look fantastic. Uh, the artwork on them, the detail is really nice. Uh, the artwork that Lauren said, the board looks fantastic. The cards themselves. I like all the items, the variability in the items. That's really cool. And I like dice chuckers as well. Like I like that, the moment that we talked about where it's like, oh yes, I finally got that. Like I got, I nailed that guy. I like those moments. That's kind of why I play games for mainly for those type of types of moments. Uh, I do like puzzly games as well, but I also just like to just, you know, you're, you want to have a great time, right? You want to sit down, play a board game and just be like, yes, all right. You know what I mean? Have a brew, you know, just enjoy the or game two. or two, you know, and just enjoy the game. So overall, I really liked it. Um, I had a blast playing this. Uh, I can see us playing this quite a few times, especially with, uh, you know, our son Chase. So like, I think he's going to like this and he's not a huge board gamer, right? So I can see him. It's simple enough, right? Keep the interest, get some weapons, go in there and mow some guys down, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Absolutely. So I really enjoyed it. What do you, overall, what do you think? I loved it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's definitely worth, I, I'm not quite sure the investment of getting the add-ons, but um <laughs> It might be worth it, um, depending on the cost. No, I mean, it, it definitely, it adds an, an extra element of fun, but even just the core game, I think, you know, like uh, we said, it's engaging. Um, it's, you know, it's fun and challenging without being too serious and in depth. Um, yeah, cause let's not get it wrong. We, most of <laughs> like almost everything you see here is core game, right? Uh, we're just playing with a little bit different minis for the mini uh, survivors that we're playing as are different. Um, but mostly everything else is core game. So this is kind of what you're getting, right? So, yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, probably initial rating, I'd probably give it probably around a seven and a half, right? Um, it's It's not... It's not the most complex game. Uh, I had a blast playing it. It's a lot of fun doing some of the things. Uh, and yeah, I can see us playing it a lot more. Uh, what about you? Did you ever think about giving it a rating? Um, not until this moment, Andrew, uh, but I think I would give it um, a rating that's a little bit higher. Right, right. Um, but I'm obviously not the expert that you are. So the I would expert, probably give it okay. maybe like an 8.75. Yeah, I'll actually, you know what? I'll change it to an 8. I, I think, and honestly, I think it's a little bit better. Yeah, and one main reason that I wouldn't give it a full blown nine is I did not, I have not seen um, a main character with red hair. Oh. So. I think there was one in there. I said that before, but you did, still didn't see it. Well, but okay. I didn't see it. It wasn't featured on the box, so uh, it's not going to get I a see. nine for me. Well, I think that, do you want to say anything else to the people? Um, thank you so much for having me, Andrew. I yeah. really um, appreciate you including me. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I hope all of you enjoyed our uh, playthrough. Um, hopefully we can do a little bit more. Us... Yeah, yes. hopefully we can do a little bit more of these in the yeah. future. And guys, please like and subscribe. You know, it takes a we're split almost second. Up, we're almost up to 100 subscribers. I really want to hit that threshold. Yeah. I think we can do it and soon. Just think about it. If you subscribe, it does so much for us and it doesn't do anything to you. Meaning like, you know, you could just ignore every alert, just dismiss, dismiss. You could probably even turn off those notifications, right? So like, it doesn't hurt you at all to subscribe and to us, it means the world. So just, you know, do us a solid. We can do it. We can get there yeah. for sure. But uh, yeah, so just to wrap it up, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we had fun. Um, so until next time, uh, just grab some brews, play some games, and we'll see you guys later. Yeah, and give us uh, your feedback if you think we could have done a better job in any of the feedback. little uh, aspects of the decisions we made. We'd love we to We might have missed some things, but oh well, that's how it goes. All right. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.